Now, in Psalm 23, the Bible said, Thou restored my soul. I want to believe God. And then he said, I will restore health unto you. Say health. I'm believing God for a clean medical report for everybody. That as you are aging, as you are aging, your strength will be renewed. That as you are aging, instead of becoming old, you become younger. Oh, I'm believing, I'm believing. That is, listen, that is the prayer I'm praying for myself. Oh. And I'm extending the same blessing to you. That as, as you are aging, instead of looking old, you'll be looking young. And when you wake up in the morning, no aches, no pain. You wake up in the morning and you are like a young lion, ready to devour. Say yes. You wake up and you are like a young eagle, ready to soar. Say yes. So I'm believing God also for financial restorations. Any money that belongs to you, that has been blocked, let it be unblocked. Any money that belongs to you, that has been tied up, let it be loose. Any money that belongs to you, that has been buried, we resurrect it. We open up your graves. We command money to come out of the grave. We send angels to go to the north, the east, the south, the west, to release your breakthrough. And today I declare that the battle over your finances is won. The battle over your health is over. The battle over your family is over. The battle over your children is over. Hear me. I'm making prophetic declarations because, hear me, because I don't say if I'm a prophet, I don't need to say prophet. It's children and people who don't know who they are. Who say, if I'm a prophet, me try hard check. I'm making prophetic declaration. So give me some high energy response. From today, the battle over your future is over. The battle over your finances is over. The battle over your children is over. The battle over your health is over. The battle over your inheritance is over. Your battle over that land is over. The battle over that building is over. Those of you who have started building, but you haven't finished, give me a wave, friend. Okay, lift it up. I declare on authority before heaven and earth that anyone here that has begun to build, you will finish it in the name of Jesus. I declare that you will not build for another to inherit it. You will not plant for another to harvest. But whatever project you have begun, you will finish it in the name of Jesus. You will have the resources needed in the name of Jesus. And when you finish it, you will live in it healthy. You will live in your own house in good health, with a sound mind with love and power in your heart. If you believe it, say amen. Any embargo and restriction that the enemy has placed on your finances and has placed on your investment, your business, your bank account, and your life, home and abroad, today by divine authority, I declare that the embargo and the sanction is permanently lifted. Lifted, lifted, lifted. I declare furthermore, any door the enemy has closed concerning your finances, concerning your breakthrough, concerning your spirituality, your relationship with God, concerning your investments, your going out and your coming in. Today I command by the keys of David, let closed doors be open. Closed doors open, 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 open. Let closed doors be open. 
Women abroad, close doors open. Close doors open. Now, now, I command every open door remain open. Remain open. I declare you will access your open door. You will enter your open door. Nothing will cut you short before your time. You will not die prematurely. You will not die in your sleep. You will not die in your dreams. You will not die when you go out. You will not die when you go out. You will live long. You will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus, lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it up. I command multiplicity of breakthroughs. Oh, I said multiplicity of breakthroughs in every area of life. In the name of Jesus. Now, any door open will remain open in the name of Jesus. Any chain, any embargo, any sanction lifted will not be put on you again. In the name of Jesus. Any tongue, any mouth, any voice that is lying about you, we silence it in the name of Jesus. We silence it in the name of Jesus. We silence it in the name of Jesus. Any misrepresentation, any misrepresentation, any spirit of character assassination that is destroying your character, destroying your image, misrepresenting you, falsely accusing you, today in the name of Jesus, we shut that mouth. We shut that mouth. We dismiss that voice. Let it be discredited in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, anything that is threatening your life, anything that is threatening your existence and threatening your future, whatever it is, today, from the throne room of the Father, let it be terminated. 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 In the name of Jesus, terminated. Above all, whatever you have lost, wasted years, wasted moments, anything you have lost, a wife, a husband, children, loved ones, money, land, property, glory, honor, exaltation, promotion, whatever it is that you have lost, I decree restoration. I decree restoration. I command restoration. And between now, and the next hundred year, hundred days, as we pray, let the years of your people be prolonged. Give your people hundred years and over. And within the next hundred days, let there be outstanding breakthroughs, mind-blowing testimonies, and let double blessing be credited to the account. Double victory credited to the account. And let let double failure and defeat be credited to the account of our enemies. In the name of Jesus. Lift it up. Lift up your hands wherever you are. Heavenly Father. Behold the documents. Behold the businesses. Behold the works of the hands of your children. Behold. Behold. Behold the sweat and the labor of your children. Passports, business certificates, lands and investments and businesses that are suffering, Heavenly Father. Before the throne I demand as your servant that you shall remember every one of these your children for good. And I command today in the name above every other name, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, let the floodgates of heaven open. Let the floodgates of heaven open over your people, over their businesses, over their passports, over their travels, over their investments, over their documents, over the works of their heart. Let the floodgates of heaven open. 
In the name of Jesus, I command the floodgates of heaven to open. Put your hands together as the floodgates of heaven open. Let it open. I can't hear you. Let the floodgates of heaven open. Thank you, Lord. Within these hundred days, let the floodgates of heaven open. Let the light of God shine. Let your light shine. Now, now, hear me. Hear me. Hear me. I was driving the other day and there was a lot of traffic. Then my driver said, there is a, there is a shortcut before the flower pot. So you branch right, then you go to the end, then you branch left, and you are on airport hills. In less than five minutes, we were there, and people were still in the traffic, and the traffic was huge, and they were standing in. And I sat in the car, and I said, this is the secret of our life. When you don't know the way, you are stuck. But when you know the way, others will be stuck and you'll be ahead of them. From today, I declare, you will find a way. I said you will find a way. You will no more be stuck in the name of Jesus. You will not be stuck financially. You will not be stuck in the journey of life. You will not be disadvantaged anymore. In the name of Jesus, lift up your hands. Anyway, that others are not seen. You will see it in the name of Jesus. I declare you will see it in the name of Jesus. And anything others cannot make sense of, you will make sense of it. You will make sense of it. Now I command the light of God to shine on you. Let the light of God shine on you and make you outstanding. Make you unique. Distinguish you from others. Be above only. Be the head and not the tail. In the name of Jesus. Be first and not last. You will no more be stuck in life. You will no more be disadvantaged. You will be above only. Above only. Hear me. You know what I'm doing? I'm doing something. By the pronouncement I'm making... I'm overriding and overturning negative cases over your life. Anything negative over your life is abolish. Abolish. Put your hands down and say abolish, abolish, abolish. Hear me, hear me, expect a change. Now, anything that was crooked in your life before you came to this prayer meeting, I declare it's made straight. Every crooked part in your life is made straight. Every mountain and hill is made plain. Every valley is exalted. Say yes. Say yes. Any complication in your life is resolved in the name of Jesus. Any unresolved issue is resolved in the name of Jesus. Within the next hundred days, you will have upper hand in life. Upper hand in everything upper hand in legal suit, legal cases, financial matters, health issue, medical issue, relationship, marital issue, you will have the upper hand. I prophesy the upper hand. I declare you will have the upper hand. Upper hand in everything. And those, those who laughed at you, those who mocked you, those who despise you, look down upon you. I prophesy, 
by the hand of the Lord that they will stand in awe of you. They will see and they will stand in awe. You are becoming wonderful. God is about to blow your mind. I declare the story of your life has changed from today. Your story is changed from today. The Lord shall prepare you a table in the presence of your enemies. Say yes. Now, lastly, 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 just trust me. I know what I'm doing. I'm pushing you in the spirit. I'm telling you. I'm pushing you in the name of Jesus. You are a child of the king. I'm pushing you. Lift it up. Lift it up. Psalm 126. The Bible said, He said, When the Lord turned again our captivity, we were like them that dream. And He said, Laughter, there was laughter in our mouth. I declare unto you, in these hundred days, God will put laughter in your mouth. You will laugh. You know what laugh means? Hear me. The other day I was there and I sensed like I should laugh. But 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 the circumstances around me wasn't a laughter circumstances. Things, some things were bothering me. And I said, how can you laugh when all these things are happening? And the Lord said, laugh. So, so I started in the flesh. I couldn't laugh in the spirit. This is what I'm saying. Because I would lie. By the spirit, I was not happy. So I didn't know how to laugh. So I just started, ha! Ha, ha, ha! Ha, ha! Ha, 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 ha! Then suddenly I started laughing. You are going to laugh. You are about to laugh. In the name of Jesus, say yes. Now, hear me. Anyone that laughed at you, you are about to laugh at them. God is turning the tables in your favor. The tables are turning in your favor. Within this hundred days, Trust me. I know what I'm telling you. God will turn the table in your favor. I'm telling you. Somebody said, how do you know? Because I'm a living witness. I'm a living witness. I'm telling you. People have despised me, looked down upon me, mocked at me, laughed at me, written me off, and it was just a matter of time. And God turned it. God turned it. Say yes. Say yes. Hear me. The Bible said in Job 42 10, He said, And the Lord turned the captivity of Job and gave him twice as much as he had. Say double, 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 double. Hear me. Within these hundred days, I guarantee you that God will turn your captivity. And uh, hear me. Hear me. If you are nobody, in the eyes of people, you are about to become somebody. Hear me. If you are nothing, eh, you are about to become something. God will change your status in life. He will do it so men who are arrogant and proud will humble themselves. <laughs> On behalf of His Eminence, the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams, you are welcome to the 100 days of prayer. My name is Brother Isend, and I'm leading you in this session. 
as you know, the current spiritual realm is heating up and you can't do without Christ. Before we start, if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, just say this prayer after me, then you join the team to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I accept the Lord Jesus as the gift of salvation. He died to pay my sins and I believe that the Father God raised him up for my salvation. I believe, I receive it, therefore I am saved. Brethren, if you pray this prayer, you are born again. Now let's join and pray. We are dealing with prolonged battles and stubborn situations. And as we know that the world is coming to an end, therefore the devil also knows his time is short. Because he knows his time is short, he is going rampage. But thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph. Therefore his eminence has put together this hundred days of prayer to stop every stubborn situation, to stop every prolonged battle in the name of Jesus. According to 2 Samuel chapter 24, verse 16, the Bible reads, And when the angel stretched out his hand upon Jerusalem to destroy it, the Lord repented him of the evil and said to the angel that destroyed the people, It is enough. Say, Stay now thy hand. And the angel of the Lord, by the threshing place of Aruna, the Jebusite stayed his hand. It is enough. We've been given the name of Jesus. We've been given the word of God. We've been given the spirit of God. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, within this hundred days, any prolonged battle, any stubborn situation, we say stay down. Stay down. Stay down in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray, oh God, according to scripture, John chapter 12 verse 31 and 32, the Bible says, now is the judgment of the world, and now shall the prince of the world be cast out in this time of staying down, in this time of supremacy of Christ, we decree in the name of Jesus, anything that has ruled in your life, any stubborn situation, the judgment of Christ has come, the death of Christ means the judgment of the devil, therefore we cast them out. We cast every stubborn situation out. We cast every released devil out. In the name of Jesus, the judgment has come by the conviction of judgment. We decree in the name of Jesus, the devil has been judged. The devil has been cast out. That devil operating your home. That devil operating to your bloodline. That devil operating your situation. That devil has caused your sickness, has caused difficulty. The Bible says, John 12, 31, now the judgment has come because Christ died. Christ died to pay for your sins and my sins. He died on the cross. Therefore, we issue the judgment of the devil. We issue the judgment of every demonic activity. We issue the judgment of every stubborn situation. We issue the judgment of every prolonged battle. According to scripture, now they have come to an end, and therefore we cast them out. We cast sickness out. We cast all situations out. In this hundred days, you prevail. According to the power of the Holy Ghost, you prevail. In the mighty name of Jesus, in this judgment, anything operating the bloodline, according to Exodus 34, verse 7, the Bible says, The Lord keeps mercies for thousands and forgiving iniquities. And and transactions and sins every sin every iniquity, anything you'll be engaging in, uh, knowingly or unknowingly, on the account of the blood, uh, we pray exemption, uh, we pray exemption, uh, anything your forebears engage in, uh, that is now bringing a prolonged battle in your life, uh, that is bringing a stubborn situation in your life, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, according to the blood of Jesus, uh, according to the judgment of the cross, uh, we bring it to an end, uh, we bring it to the end, uh, once the devil knows it, time is shorter and is going rampage. The Lord Jesus too is also increasing grace, increasing ability, increasing power in the name of Jesus. The Bible says when sin also meaning evil increase grace much more increase. Whatever prolonged battle is going on in your life, there's a much more increasing grace able to deal with it. Any battle going in your life, Christ has the solution. Christ has the answer. We therefore in the name of Jesus 
them, bring the answer of Christ. Bring the solution of Christ. We set you free. In the name of Jesus. We pray, oh God, according to the judgment of Christ, we overthrow stubborn situations. We bring it to an end. No matter what it is, we present the blood. We present the blood. Therefore, we link your prayers with the blood of Jesus for victory. We link your prayers. See after me. I link my prayers with the blood of Jesus and I bring every situation I'm confronted with. I bring it to an end in the mighty name of Jesus. Christ has died, which means my redemption, which means my freedom, which means my prosperity, which means my healing, which means my advancement, which means my elevation. Therefore, anything that doesn't want me to be free, anything that wants to keep me in bondage, we apply the blood, we apply the blood, we apply the blood, and we bring it down in the mighty name of Jesus. Any oppression of that enemy, any oppression will link our prayers, will link our offerings, will link our sacrifices, will link our fastings with the blood of Jesus, and we destroy every activity of the enemy, we destroy every move of the enemy, we destroy every power of the enemy, in the name of Jesus, according to Mark chapter 4, verse 37, any bad weather, any signal of evil, any evil pattern, bad weather pattern, bad financial pattern, bad health pattern, any pattern that you have observing in your family, in your life, in your dreams, whatever it is you're observing, thanks be to God who always calls us to Christ, who calls us to triumph. We therefore bring in the triumphing of the Lord Jesus. We destroy the works of the enemy. For this reason, the Son of man was made manifest to destroy the works of the enemy. Any work of the enemy, institutionalizing and trenching bad patterns, today marks your end. Today, starting the 100 day prayer of uh, 100 days of prayer, we issue a decree. We stop your move. We stop your advancement. You will advance no more. You will advance no more in the mighty name of Jesus. Every activity of the enemy, every activity of the enemy, in the name of Jesus. Ran Tabade Kadea. Ran BC Tikia. We stop it. We stop it. We stop it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every oppression of the enemy. Abba City Kando. We operate in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. And we cancel. We cancel. We cancel. We cancel. We cancel. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every activity triggering any bad pattern. Every activity triggering every historic activity that is against your advancement, as against your fellowship, as against your advancement, as against your elevation. Today, we present the blood, we present the victory of Christ, we present the word of God, we present the Holy Ghost, and today we declare it null and void. We declare evil parties null and void. You will proceed no further. You will proceed no further in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, whatever is born of the flesh is flesh. And whatever is born of the spirit is also spirit. Therefore, anything that the enemy is operating through your flesh, to operating through the bloodline of the flesh, bringing in things against you, we superimpose the blessings of the bloodline of the spirit, the blessings of the bloodline of Christ Jesus. For Christ Jesus died to save us. He brought to us the blessings of the heavens, the blessings of the heavens, the blessings of glory, the blessings of healing. It is written, I will not put any of these diseases that I put upon the Jesus upon you. Every disease that the enemy wants to put on you because of wherever you've been, because of whatever you've eaten, because of whatever you've drunk. For it is written, if you drink any deadly thing, it will not harm you. We therefore activate the blessings of Christ, the blessings in the blood. We therefore insulate, insulate our systems uh, with the healing power of the Holy Ghost. Uh, whatever it is uh, that has entered into your system, uh, whatever it is uh, that has entered into your spirit, uh, whatever it is uh, that has entered into your mind, uh, will invoke the power of the Holy Ghost uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, that thing will not kill you. The power to kill you will disable it. Uh, we disable it. Uh, we disable it uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, according to scripture, 
The Lord Jesus uh, in Matthew 8 26. Uh, and he said, uh, Why are you fearful, brethren? Uh, do not be afraid, uh, for there is one who has risen up. Uh, the Bible says, uh, Do not be afraid, uh, for the lion of the tribe of Judah has prevailed. Uh, this situation of yours, uh, the Lord has prevailed. Uh, any situation uh, that is threatening your life, uh, I come to tell you in the name of Jesus. Uh, Jesus has prevailed. Uh, therefore, we come against it. Uh, every situation threatening your life, uh, every situation threatening your family, every situation threatening the work of your hands, uh, every situation threatening your city, every situation threatening the nation, uh, every situation threatening the church, uh, the lion has prevailed. Uh, the lion doesn't turn back uh, when he sees his prey because you are joined with Christ uh, and you are one spirit with him. Uh, whatever it is uh, that is threatening you, uh, locate it uh, as the lion locates his prey and never turn back uh, until it devours it uh, in the place of prayer in this one the time of prayer we locate we locate uh, we locate weakness uh, we locate diseases uh, we locate uh, anything the enemy is planning and we destroy it uh, by the ability of Christ uh, for the Bible says uh, our ability our sufficiency is not of ourselves but it is of the Holy Ghost uh, therefore by the power of the Holy Ghost uh, we locate any threatens uh, we locate every sickness uh, we locate any disease uh, we locate uh, any stagnation uh, and we crush it in the name of Jesus. We crush it uh, for it is written. We shall tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy and nothing shall by any means threaten us. Uh, say after me in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, I tread upon serpents and scorpions. Uh, anything uh, operating through a serpent. Uh, as uh, DKB, uh, the story of Eva in the death of Eden will not be my story. I will not be deceived. Uh, I descend rightly. I descend by the spirit. I descend by the word of God. I locate serpents. The Bible says those who believe in me, they shall pick up serpents. In the mighty name of Jesus, may they be a parade in the realm of the spirit to your office, to your body, to your system, to the people around you. And let us by the power of the Holy Ghost. We pick up serpents. We pick up serpents. We pick up serpents. In the mighty name of Jesus. And Yambado says anyone operating as a wolf in sheep clothing aim to effect the agenda of the devil against you in the mighty of Jesus as we pick up serpent may they be picked up in the name of Jesus and the Lord said because I am with you do not fear Brethren, don't be afraid. We pray with Jesus as our head. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. In fact, from verse 3, the Bible says, For Christ is the head of the man. Therefore, when any man prays or prophesies, he should put on his head. We are not going to this battle on our own. We are not going by ourselves. We put on Christ. And let every woman, because the head of the woman is Christ, the head of the woman is the man. The woman man should cover his head uh, and uncover Christ. Uh, therefore, whether you are male or a female, uh, we come in the name of Jesus in the place of prayer. We put on Christ uh, and we put on the power of the Holy Ghost, uh, the throne of God. Uh, for Christ is the Son of God uh, and the throne of Christ is the throne of God. Uh, therefore, from this perspective, uh, from this whole heavenly perspective, uh, we crush any insurrection. Uh, we crush any rebellion. Uh, we crush any threat. Uh, we crush any Activity of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. We shall not fear. We pray in the name of Jesus. We destroy the works of the enemy. Anything being cooked in the womb of time, we give any evil breath, any evil operation of the enemy a dry breast. We pray that they shall loose that which they are harboring in their womb in the mighty name of Jesus. And the Lord said, Oh, you are little faith. Then the Lord arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. Brethren, in this hundred days of prayer let the Lord arise let the Lord arise let his enemy be scattered the Lord arise through you through your prayers by your faith in the name of Jesus we release the blood we release the Holy Ghost we release the arrows of God we release the spears of God let the Lord arise for he said thou art my battle axe and my weapon of war with you I will destroy man and woman with you I will destroy young and older with you I will destroy 
destroy the horse and the rider with you. I will destroy the chariot and the rider with you. I will destroy the shepherd and the flock. Any evil shepherd bringing evil flocks in your life to bring in evil patterns by the acts of the Lord as we avail ourselves by the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, we destroy them. We destroy them. We destroy them. Any young or old instrument of the devil, we destroy any man and woman of the devil, we destroy any chariot and the rider of any evil chariot, we destroy any horse, be it a red horse, be it a black horse, be it a green horse, be it a pale horse, in the mighty name of Jesus, anything the devil is bringing our way, we reject it, we reject it, we reject it, in the mighty name of Jesus, and the Lord arose and rebuked the storm, the Lord arose, we arise in Jesus name, we arise in our families, we arise in our church, we arise in the assignment the Lord has given us and we rebuild the work of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus the Bible says and there was a great calm <laughs> we are praying, wherever there is instability wherever there is a disturbance we speak the word of the Lord and we speak peace be still we speak peace to your body that virus will not kill you that infection will not kill you for the Bible says in Matthew 8 17 he himself and the Lord Jesus himself he took our sicknesses and bore every pain and disease every sickness every disease every pain that the enemy is targeting you with the Lord Jesus is going to scripture has taken it therefore we reject it we reject it after me i reject the sickness i reject the disease i reject this attack in the mighty name of jesus for the lord said this sickness is not unto death but for the glory of the lord to be revealed instead of trouble may you receive double instead of pain may you receive victory glory oh lord be your portion oil of joy instead of ashes in the mighty name of jesus out of the eater came something to eat that which came to destroy you out of that you shall have a testimony in this hundred days shelter me i connect to testimony i connect to testimony i connect to the the testimony of the Lord Jesus. Let every word of God uh, meant for your lifting, uh, meant for your progress, uh, meant for your advancement, uh, meant for your divine health. Uh, let it be for the Bible says the word of the Lord uh, is for us. Uh, and the Bible says every promise of God uh, is yes and amen uh, in Christ Jesus. Now in Christ, uh, we appropriate, uh, we harvest uh, the glories of peace, uh, the glories of advancement, uh, the glories of joy, uh, the glories of protection. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, we therefore curse and rebuke uh, every storm, uh, every raging wave, uh, anything the enemy is staying up. Uh, it is the by cancelled. Therefore, we speak into your bodies. We speak into your family. And take a with the name in the name of Jesus. By the authority of the Son of God, we rebuke anything operating against you. And as the Bible says in Psalm 91, verse 1. We commit you to the presence of the Holy Ghost, uh, to the presence of God. Uh, for the Bible says, He that dwells in the secret place uh, of the Most High shall abide uh, under the shadow of the Almighty, and you shall say of the Lord, uh, He is my refuge and my fortress, uh, my God in whom I trust. Uh, in these 100 days, uh, we commit you to the presence. Uh, we pray in the presence. Uh, that will be your dwelling place. Uh, for Jesus said, Whosoever eateth my flesh uh, and drinketh my blood uh, dwells in me and I in him uh, in this 100 days uh, as we engage in his word, the flesh, uh, as we engage with the Holy Ghost, the blood uh, as take uh, we dwell in him and he dwell in us uh, the rest is testimony, you shall not be afraid of the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence uh, that stalks at noonday, anything operating in darkness uh, shall not harm you, for it is written uh, in his presence he shall give his angels uh, charge over you, uh, you shall not dash your foot against uh, any stone because they bear you up uh, because you made the Lord your refuge uh, because you made the Lord your habitation uh, there shall no evil befall you in this hundred days and beyond uh, this is your testimony this is your word uh, the sure word of prophecy coming from the word of the Lord uh, no evil shall
shall befall you, neither shall any plague come nigh your dwelling. In the mighty name of Jesus, on this account, in line with Isaiah 28, 18 and 19, we therefore come against any covenant of death, any agreement, any covenant, any agreement with death, we abolish it in the mighty name of Jesus. We abolish it in the name of Jesus. There is a Lord. If anyone should take your freedom, <laughs> if anyone or anything want to counter your freedom and take it to any evil quarter, we come in the name of Jesus and we cancel every evil appeal. It shall not stand, neither will it come to pass because we have appealed to the throne room of God. We have appealed to the courts of heaven. We have appealed to the courts of the highest heaven. Therefore, any appeal is cancelled. We declare nolly prosecution nolly prosecute we cancel the charge we cancel the charge any charge brought against you we present the blood because you have been bought you do not belong to yourself as a day according to scripture the husband can exempt the wife from any altar the bible says christ is our husband the church is the bride therefore on the account of the christ that we serve we are exempted from any cancer. We are exempted from any charge. We are exempted from any disaster. Anything that wants to destroy us, we destroy it in the name of Jesus. And we declare on the account of the blood, Isaiah, he has paid the price and he has given us the engagement ring, which is the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost, we are exempt, we are exempt, we are exempt. Exempt from evil, exempt from evil patterns, exempt from pain, exempt from other basicals, exempt from premature data in the mighty name of Jesus Adeya Reba Bandu Kaba Ziba Dogan and the this is the time of victory. <laughs> Grace much more abounds. There's nothing confronting you that the Lord Jesus cannot do. It's all about Jesus. It's all about Jesus and his kingdom. The kingdom of the Lord shall rule through us in Jesus' name. Therefore, as we cancel every agreement according to Isaiah 28 18, we will overcome. In the name of Jesus, every disaster that sweeps our land, any disaster that sweeps like a flood, we overcome it in Jesus' name. Any specific disaster, I'm bear. Call it doors, evil doors, we overcome. Evil gates, we also overcome. Any disaster targeting a group, targeting a family, targeting a church, targeting a city, targeting a nation, call it the gates of evil. We overcome their works in the mighty name of Jesus. For the Lord said, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail. The works of the enemy will not prevail. We insulate you from the effect of the devil. We insulate you from the gates of hell. It shall not stand. Neither will it come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything that wants to strike you, strike your family, strike his eminence, strike the church, strike your family, strike any organ in your body, we decree in the name of Jesus. We cancel it and we decree divine escapes in Jesus' mighty name. We thank the Lord for the victory. We give you praise for there's none like Jesus. Thank you for joining us in this service and keep operating in the realms of glory for we are in the hundred days of glory thanks be to god in jesus mighty name amen made the heavens and the earth by thy great power 
Our Lord God, Thou hast made the heavens and the earth by Your outstretched hands. Nothing is too difficult for Thee. Nothing is too difficult for Thee. You are the great and mighty God, great in counsel and mighty indeed. Mighty indeed, nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing, nothing is too difficult for thee. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to God indeed. Nothing is too difficult for our God to do. You are welcome to the 100 days of prayer and intercession, 100 days of breakthrough, Welcome to 100 Days of Manifestation. I want to say be thank you to my man of God, our Bishop Nicholas Duncan Williams, for this great opportunity and privilege he has given to me to lead the people of God in prayers. Papa, I love you, I appreciate you greatly, and I thank God for your life. I want to quickly let you know that, listen, these are prophetic seasons. Our Papa has declared that this is our season of open doors according to the Hebrew calendar 5, 7, 8, 4. Listen, it is a prophetic season in the history of humanity and I want you to get up yourself and stir up yourself to pray like never before. Take advantage of these hundred days and the prophetic timings that Papa has given to us to engage the heavens, to engage the armies of heaven, to engage the hand of the Lord. And I tell you, every stubborn situation will give way in this season. I want to encourage you to go to the Archbishop Nicholas and William Facebook page to engage and subscribe for the one million strong as we stand with our Papa and the body of Christ to intercede for nations, for families, for churches, for children, for husbands and wives all over the nations. And I also want to encourage you, quickly, hit the like and share button. Share the link. Invite your families, your friends, your pastors, your loved ones, even your enemies. <laughs> Invite them and let them know, listen, it's time for us to pray. Our Papa has declared that this is the season of open doors. It doesn't matter what door has been shut against you. That door will be broken open by the mighty hand of God. I want to quickly read a scripture to you, you know, before we quickly take the prayer points that our Papa has given to us. And I'll be reading from the book of Isaiah chapter 45, you know, from verse 1 to 5. It says, Thus hear the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have holden to subdue nations before him. And I will lose the loins of kings to open before him the two lead gates, and the gates shall not be shut. I will go before thee and make the crooked path straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden treasures of secret places, that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which called thee by the name, I am the God of Israel. Verse 4 says, For Jacob my servant's sake, and Israel my elect, I have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. Verse 5 says, I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I gathered thee, though thou hast not known me. Now this prophecy was given one whole 150 years before Cyrus was born by the prophet Isaiah and he was speaking concerning his children Israel that he was going to raise up his elect called Cyrus to go before his children and open the tulip gate and cause them to come into the place of freedom and liberty and indeed that word came to pass 150 years later now history has it that when Cyrus invaded Babylon at that time when you read Daniel chapter 5 when Belshazzar was you know 
drinking and getting drunk with his nobles. The Bible says, and a handwriting appeared on the wall saying you have been found, you have been weighed in a balance and you have been found wanting. And that night, the Bible records that there was an invasion in Babylon and the city was broken and taken down. Now what happened was this, when God stayed up Cyrus to invade Babylon at that time, his plan was to go through, you know, the tunnel because the gates of Babylon were so strong that it were impenetrable. And two, the two leaf gates means just a gate that, you know, swings on two sides. It has two leaves, has two sides. That's what it means. And so when Cyrus had planned to evade Babylon at that time, the Bible said he had planned to go under the tunnel because underneath the tunnel was a waterway because the two leaf gates were impenetrable. It was not possible to penetrate it. And so he had the plan to invade you know, Babylon with a very small army, very small army. But history calls that when he got to the gates to go through that tunnel, he discovered that the gates had been mangled. The history says it was as though the gates had been mangled by giant hands. And so it was possible for Cyrus to invade Babylon and take over the city. That's why I said I will open to you the tulip gates. God himself opened those gates for Cyrus to invade because the gates were so strong that it was impossible for Cyrus to evade it. But when he got there, he found that the giant hand of the Lord had opened the, the tulip gates. And in the name of Jesus, as we begin to pray, let the tulip gates, let doors, impossible doors that in your own human ability you cannot open let those doors be opened unto you in the name of Jesus and history also has it that there were secret and hidden treasures dumped in the middle of the sea and it was not possible for anyone to find out but God stepped up Cyrus and he went into the sea and located where those treasures of God were dumped in and he dug them out only God could have given Cyrus inside to where those treasures are. That's why I said I will give you the hidden treasures of darkness, of secret places, things you ordinarily will not know and discover by the Spirit of God in this season as you begin to pray. He will guide you and lead you and you will discover Him. I want us to go straight to pray. We want us to, be, we want us to pray for government and nations. The Bible says in 1 Timothy 2 verse 1, it says, first of all, there are prayers, supplications, intercessions and giving of thanks be made for all men and for those in authority. Why? That we may lead a quiet and peaceable life. He said, and this is acceptable. It is pleasing in the eyes of the Lord. So what are you beginning to pray first of all? I'm going to pray for kings, for queens, for presidents, for all those in authority that God will cause a crooked path before them to be made straight. That as they take decisions, concerning nations, concerning their citizens, concerning people, concerning the different spheres in the government, that God will give them wisdom. And I also want you to pray, whatever nation you're watching from, pray for your president or king, whoever is in, in leadership. Pray for the private sector, the, the public sector. Pray for all those who are in authority, wherever nation you are situated, that there will be a divine intervention in the economy, in, in politics, in the health sector, in the banking sector, in the medical sector, the educational sector, that there will be a divine intervention in the name of Jesus. Say, Heavenly Father, we intercede for our government, for leaders, for nations. Grant them wisdom, integrity, and a heart for justice. May your kingdom come and your will be done in the governing systems of the world. Raise up righteous leaders who will govern with passion and righteousness in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Lift up prayers for your nation. Father, in the name of Jesus, we lift up prayers for nations. We lift up prayers for government. We lift up prayers for governors. And for those in authority, that Father, you will grant them wisdom. Let their eyes be open in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we ask that you give them access to divine wisdom, that they will take decisions that will help enhance the life they live in, their citizens, 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Man take a kapaya. Father, we lift up my God, governors, presidents, kings, queens, and those in authority. That Lord, they will not give heed to tradition spirits. They will not give heed to whispering spirits. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we shut down every whisperer, every spirit that stands behind their ears to whisper in their ears to take decisions that will throw nations into poverty, into chaos, into war. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, we shut down those whisperings. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare and declare that their ears will be shut to the whisperings of demons and devils. In the name of Jesus. Mali Pascotola Brandiga, open your mouth and pray. Reka Shapra Katoziata, Mendula Katea, Father, we lift up. Those in authority, presidents, prime ministers, ministers of states, senators, parliamentarians in the public sector, the private sector, Maraku Talabande, will lift them up, oh God, before your throne of grace. That Father, you will grant them the wisdom to take decisions, decisions that affect Father God the nations positively. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we declare and declare that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Mareko Shatabaha. Mali Brondos Kete, pray for your nation, pray for your government. Mali Bros Kete, and I want you to also call the names of nations, other nations, citizens. We pray for for France, we pray for Ghana, Nigeria, Cote d'Ivoire, Kenya, my God, Liberia. We lift them up for the throne of grace. We pray for South Africa. Mareko Subrekete, oh Lord, let your hand come upon the government, come upon those in authority, that Lord, they will walk in righteousness. For your word declares uh, the righteousness uh, exalted people, but that sin uh, is a reproach. Uh, for that we cry out, Malikoto uh, Shata, for the nations. Uh, we cry out uh, for those in authority. That oh Lord, you will undergird them. Oh God, you will stir them up to take the right decisions. You will stir them up to take decisions that in line with your will, with your purpose for the people. In the name of Jesus, we pray for them that they will come to the saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus. That their eyes will be open. Oh God. Let your hand come upon the nations in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Want to pray for so winning and signs and wonders. He says we should pray for all men and for those in authority. Want to pray for all men that they be saved. Lord, empower us to be bold witness of the gospel. Want to pray for all men that they be saved and come to the saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, we put the name of Jesus upon every man, upon every woman, upon the face of the earth. We put the name of Jesus upon every house, upon every home, upon every husband, upon every wife, upon every habitable place of the earth. That the name of Jesus Christ will be glorified in the nations. That the name of Jesus Christ will be glorified. We pray all men that they be saved and come to the saving knowledge of Jesus. We pray for all men, all, all races, all language, that oh God, that their eyes will be open, that the light of the glorious gospel will shine over their hearts in the name of Jesus. Father, we decree and we declare that every veil, every veil, every veil that the enemy has used to blind the eyes of men, the, the minds of men, blinded nations, blinded kingdoms, that they will not be able to receive the gospel of Jesus. Let out and unbelief be set on fire in the name of Jesus. Let the veil be turned away that the light of the glorious gospel will shine into the hearts of men in the name of Jesus. Libratos satire. He kept in Libratos Katia. And I will lift up prayer for all men that they be saved in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We want to pray for God's people. We are praying that God's people be filled with boldness. I'd like to quickly read from the book of Acts chapter 4, verse 29. He says, whilst, he says, whilst they were together, they began to pray that God will fill them with boldness. And the Bible says the place where they were were shaken. Hallelujah. Please take the scriptures down and go through 
in your own secret you know, place as you continue to pray, well, even whilst you're offline. Verse 29 says, it says, And now, Lord, behold their threatenings, and grant unto thy servants that with all boldness they may speak the word. We are praying for the body of Christ, that we will speak the word with boldness. In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus, Lord, empower us to behold, to be bold witnesses of your gospel. Open doors of effective evangelism and grant us a heart for the lost. Manifest your signs and wonders through us, confirming your word and drawing people to salvation. Let miracles, signs, divine encounters accompany our efforts in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we lift up, oh God, your people. We pray that, Father, you fill us with boldness. We pray for the body of Christ around the nations, everyone upon whom the name of Jesus Christ has been named. That you fill your people with the spirit of boldness to declare your word. Lord, with boldness, with signs and wonders following. In the name of Jesus, that your people be emboldened to speak in the marketplaces, in the offices, wherever they find themselves, in the buses, on the streets. The Lord, your people be emboldened with the spirit of boldness to speak your word like never before. In the name of Jesus, let your people of God be filled with boldness. For Paul declares, I am not ashamed of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. Let your people not be ashamed. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, strengthen your people to declare your word with boldness. And as they preach, let signs and wonders accompanying evangelism. Thank you, Lord, for strategy, for evangelism, for your people. In the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, we pray for your people that in this season you will give to us, my God, strategies of the Spirit, strategies of the Spirit to penetrate the impenetrable places by the power of your Spirit. The Lord, we will make the gospel of Jesus Christ relevant in our days, relevant in our times, like never before. In the name of Jesus, we cry out to you, Lord. Let your people rise up in boldness. In the name of Jesus, once again, I'd like you to be shared. Invite friends, invite families quickly. Let them know it's a hundred days of prayer. We are praying for wisdom and discernment. He says, gracious God, seek your wisdom and discernment in every decision we make. Oh Lord, grant us clarity of mind and understanding of your ways. Help us to discern between good and evil and to walk in your truth. Fill us with the knowledge of your will and guide our steps in the name of Jesus. When you read the book of Isaiah 11, verse 3, he says, and the Spirit of the Lord will rest upon him. It shall make him a quick understanding. Talking about the seven Spirit of God. One of the impact and the manifestation and the, the impact of the Spirit of God in your life is that it makes you a quick understanding. You'll be able to have discernment and judge. Say in the name of Jesus, I receive the Spirit of discernment. I receive wisdom in this season. Heavenly Father, Father, your word declares that Jesus Christ is made unto us wisdom from God. Father, in this season, we decree and declare that your people will walk in wisdom. The power of the Holy Ghost, lift your hands in the name of Jesus. I receive the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you. Say, oh Lord, let the eyes of my understanding be enlightened that I may know what is the hope of your calling. That Oh, what is the exceeding greatness of your power that is at work in me, that I may know the hope to which you have called me, that I may know what is your inheritance that you have given to me. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. Cry out to God for wisdom. He says, if any man lack wisdom, let him call upon the Lord who gives unto to a man without, without a brethren, without partiality. He gives to you. Open your mouth 
out and cry out to him. Say, oh Lord, grant unto me the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Oh Lord, fill your people with wisdom. Fill your people with wisdom. Fill your people with wisdom. Fill your pastors, the apostles and prophets like never before with wisdom. Make your people of quick understanding in the name of Jesus. Live from to Kapaya. I pray Salakatua. Mero Sapradaya. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, give your people wisdom in investment, in relationships. Wisdom in prayer. Wisdom to know, to discern your will. Your will. Your will. In the name of Jesus. Rabayatos Kapaladia. Rembrandos Kapaladosia. Nefreke Posata. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 We are praying for restoration and renewal. He says in Joel chapter 2 verse 5. He says I will restore to you the years. That the Kanka worm and the Pama worm have eaten. I don't know what you have lost. I don't know what has been stolen. I don't know what has been taken away from you. I don't know what the enemy has stripped you off. But in the name of Jesus. In this year of the open door. We decree and declare restoration. By the power of the spirit. Restoration. He says I will restore to you. The years that the canker worm has eaten. But you want to rise up in faith and boldness. And declare. Say in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father. We pray for restoration. And renew. In every area of our lives, restore what has been lost or broken, whether it be relationships, health, finances, or dreams. Renew our spirit and give us the strength to persevere through difficult times. May your healing touch bring wholeness and new life to us. Lord, help us to trust your promises of restoration and hold on to the hope that you will make all things new. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Father, we pray for your people. Oh God, have mercy upon your people. Oh Lord, have mercy upon your people. Have mercy upon the nations. Have mercy, oh God, upon the nations. Have mercy upon your people. We pray for families. We pray for churches. We pray for nations. We pray for husbands, for wives, for teenagers, for the teenagers, for children, for the next generation, for the toddlers. Father, we pray. Restore, restore wasted years in the name of Jesus. Everything that the enemy has stolen, has scattered asunder. We come and restoration by the power of the Holy Ghost. Limbra Katos Keteya, Levrimina to Sabrone Katovalika. Oh Lord, restore your people. Oh Lord, restore your people. Restore wasted years. Everything that the enemy has stolen, stolen treasures that has been stolen and buried. In graves, in the rock, in the air, malotabaya, in satanic covens, in demonic altars, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the mighty hands of Yahweh, we command restoration. Clap your hands and pray. Cry out, Ileborosa, oh Lord, restore, restore your people. We pray for the Archbishop Nicholas of Williams, oh God. And the body of Christ, his family, your people, restore, restore, wasted years, restore in the name of Jesus. Restore in the name of Jesus. Oh, lift your hands and lift your voice, begin to thank him. Say, Father, I thank you for restoration. Begin to thank him for answer prayers. Oh, glory, glory, glory. Oh, begin to thank you. Say, Father, I thank you for restoration. I thank you for opening doors. Oh, glory. Glory, glory. Thank him. Begin to thank him. Say, Father, I thank you for open doors. I thank you for opening the tulip gates. I thank you for making a quicker path straight. I thank you because mountains are brought down. I thank you because valleys are exalted. I thank you because a quicker path is made straight in spiritual places, financial places. Places, emotional places, psychological places, Maro Secretaria, marital places in the nations, the crooked parts are made straight, valleys are exalted in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you. We want to encourage you to continue to tune in immediately after this. Please share this link and invite friends. 
If you're not yet born again, put your hand on your chest and say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord and personal Savior. I receive you into my heart to walk with you from today. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I thank you because I am not born again in the name of Jesus. Once again, I want to thank you, Papa, for this opportunity to lead the people of God in prayer. I celebrate you, sir. I honor you, sir. God truly really bless you. I want to encourage you to continue to tune in for 100 days of prayer and join the link on my Papa's page, Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams, and sign in for the one million strong. God bless you. See you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome to another exciting edition of One Million Strong, 100 Days of Intensified Prayer Challenge. We thank God for the life of His Eminence, the Archbishop Nicholas Akan Williams, whose obedience by the power of the Holy Spirit and the strength of the Lord, this One Million Strong, 100 Days of Intensified Prayer Challenge is ongoing and another edition has started in full earnest with all fire spins and all, all the fires, are, all the fire, fire cylinders are blaring and firing to the glory of the Lord. One million strong intercessors across the globe raising them up. You are standing the gap for your family. You are standing the gap for your community. You are standing the gap for your, 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 your country. You are standing the gap for your continent. And you are standing the gap for the things of God to come to pass concerning your life. So that whilst you are alive, we shall see God work in a mighty way. Hallelujah. Yeah. If you have not signed up, please sign up. Sign up. Look on the screen. Sign up to the one million strong, hundred days of intensified prayer challenge, and your life will never be the same again. Mighty testimonies have have have, have been seen all these years. A lot of testimonies, one blowing testimonies. And if you have any testimony and you have not shared it, please share it right now. If you have any prayer request, share it right now. Right as as usual. We want to set up watch parties. We want to share this prayer. Share and share and share. Hallelujah. Yeah. Because God is up to something. All God is waiting for you, you and I to pray. When, God, when you pray, God will answer. Hallelujah. Yeah. On this watch, we are looking at the, the year of the open door. Say the year of the open door. The of the open Say door. the year of the open door. Yeah. Now where new pathways will be revealed, then blessings will overflow abundantly in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. My name is Bishop Frank Vinyanko of Action Chapel International, Race Community Cathedral, Kumasi, Ghana. And you are welcome to this exciting edition of One Million Strong, 100 Days of Prayer, Intensified Prayer Challenge. Amen. Amen. Before we begin, we want to lift up your voice and begin to magnify the name of the Lord for the opportunity he has given us to come one more time into his presence. Say, Heavenly Father, Father, on this watch, watch, we are grateful grateful for bringing us together together to come and lift up prayer. To, to you, O oh God. To you, oh God. To you, all flesh will come. You, all flesh will come. In the name of Jesus. Name we lift up prayer. We say, receive your worship. We lift up prayer. We say, receive your praise. We lift up prayer. We say, receive all, all honor, all adoration in the name of Jesus. We appreciate you, King of Kings. We appreciate you, Lord of Lords. We appreciate you, great and mighty one. All glory belongs to you. All honor belongs to you. Receive your worship. Receive your praise. We stand on this platform and we say, receive your praise. Receive your praise, receive your glory, receive your honor, receive your adoration in the mighty precious name of Jesus Christ. Say, Heavenly Father, on this watch, we, we, we decree and declare, let the precious blood of Jesus Christ that speak better things than that of Abel speak for us, for our families, for our communities, for our nations, 
as we stand in the gap, let the superior sacrifice of the precious blood of Jesus Christ speak for us better things in the name of Jesus. Lift up your body, the Lord Jesus Christ speak better things for us. Let the blood speak better things. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. One of our first scriptures, Genesis 13, 14 to 15. The Bible says that, and the Lord said to Abraham, after Lot has separated from him, lift up your eyes and look. Now and look from where, from the place where you are, northward, southward, eastward, and westward. For all the land which you see, I give to you and your descendants forever. Hallelujah. Amen. On this watch, on this, on this year of open door, whatever blindness. We lift it up in the name of Amen. Jesus. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father in the spirit, spirit of Lot that has blinded my vision, I declare and declare, let that, let that Lot, let that spirit of Lot, let that blindfold, let it catch fire, let it catch fire, let it catch fire, let it catch fire. On this, let that blindfold catch fire. Let this Lot catch fire, let it catch fire, let it catch fire. Let the blindfold catch fire, let the blindfold catch fire. Let the blood foot 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 catch fire. In Jesus' name. Say heavenly father. Say heavenly father. Say heavenly father. Any demonic veil. Let it catch fire. Any spirit of lust that has blinded me all these years. In this year of the open door. Let that let that blindfold catch fire. Let that spirit of lust. Let it catch fire. Let it catch fire. Let it catch fire. Let that let it catch fire. Let that spirit of lust catch fire. Let it 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 catch fire. Let the blood flow catch fire. Let the blood flow catch fire. Let the blood flow catch fire. In the name of Jesus, friend, until Lot separated, Abraham didn't see. Until Lot separated, Abraham didn't see that he could see at the north, south, east, and westward. Oh, hallelujah. Far bigger horizon than he ever thought. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus in, my year, in my year of the open door, whatever, whatever has, been, has blinded me has blinded all these years, all these years that, I cannot see, that I cannot see bigger, bigger and, greater, and greater. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord. let that blind fall. Let, let, let it catch fire. 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 Let the blind fall 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 catch fire. Let the blood for 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 catch fire. In the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name. Say Heavenly Father. Say Heavenly Father. Any lot. Any spirit of lot. Around my life. Around my marriage. The works of my hands. My ministry. That is a stumbling block to the moving forward of my life. Of my marriage. Of my ministry. Of my businesses. On this watch. Oh Lord. Let us let of lot be separated. Let it be a separation. Let it be a separation. Let it be a disengagement. Disengagement right now by the blood of Jesus. 
Lift up your voice. Let the fear disengage. 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 Let the lot around us. Let the fear disengage. Let the fear disengage. Let the fear disengage. Let the fear disengage. In a mighty precious name of Jesus. And then lost in that marriage. And then lost in that business. And then lost in that church. Let there be a disengagement. Let there be a disengagement. Let there be a disengagement. Let there be a cutting off. Let there be a cutting off. Let there be a separation. Let there be a cutting off. Let there be a separation. By the blood of Jesus. Let there be a separation. Let there be a separation. By fire. By fire. In this view, let there be a separation by fire. Let there be a separation. Let there be a separation by fire. 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 In Jesus' name, oh hallelujah. Say, let there be a separation by fire. Let there be a separation by fire. Let there be a disengagement by the blood of Jesus. Let there be divine orchestrations to cause a division, a division, and a separation. In the name of Jesus, let there be divine orchestrations for a separation right now, right now, right now. Say, Heavenly Father, and let's preach up parasites, and let's preach up parasites on my life, on my businesses, on my on my marriage, on my children, on that ministry. We decree and declare, let there be a separation by the fire of the Lord right now, right now. Let there be a separation by fire. In this new year, for people, let there be a separation by fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Say, Heavenly Father, in this new year, I enter my new year without any spirit of loss. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let there be a spiritual surgery, separation right now. Right now. By the blood of Jesus. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Let there be a separation from any loss. In the spirit of loss. In the spirit of loss. In the spirit of parasites. Whoever it is. Whoever they are. Let there be a separation by the blood of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. The verse 17 of Genesis 30 says that, Arise! Walk in the land through its length and breadth, for I, I for I give it to you. Oh hallelujah. Oh hallelujah. Oh hallelujah. Say, oh Lord, on this watch, we sell on your word. Genesis chapter 13, verse 17. Because Lot is gone. Because you have taken away any spirit of Lot. Now I will arise. I'll go forth. I'll walk through. I'll walk through the north. The South, the, south. The, east, the east, the west. Friend, if you are praying with that, rise up, rise up physically. Walk around. As you are walking, you are taking territory. Say, Heavenly Father, Father. I decree and declare. I arise. I arise. In my new door. In my new door. In my new gate. In my new year. I arise. I, I, I walk through the north, the south, the east, the west. Oh Lord, I take my possessions. Lift up your voice and pray. Take your possessions. Arise and 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 take your possessions. In this new year, arise and take your possessions by the blood of Jesus. Arise and take your possessions. 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 Arise. 
rise and take a possession. I rise and take a possession. By the blood of Jesus. I rise and take a possession. 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 In the mighty precious name of Jesus. I rise and take a possession. I rise and take a possession. In Jesus' mighty name. Say, Heavenly Father. On this watch. I stand on your word. I stand on your word. In first Samuel. Samuel 12 of 30. I decree and declare. Total recovery. Total recovery. Total recovery. I arise. And I decree and declare. Total recovery. All the enemy are stolen from me. I go to the west. I go to the south. I go to the east. I go to the west. And I decree and declare. As I rise. And I walk through. My angels and assignment. Let there be total recovery. Total recovery. From the north. From the south. From the east. From the west. Total recovery. Total recovery. Total recovery. Total recovery. Let there be total recovery. In this new year. Total recovery. Of open doors. Total recovery from the rock. Total recovery from the south. Total recovery from the east. Total recovery from the west. Total recovery. 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 From the east. From the west. From the south. From the north. Total recovery. 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 In Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Genesis 13, 17 says, Arise. What in the land through its length and breadth? I for I give it to you. Oh, hallelujah. And listen, you are not going alone. Say, I'm not going alone. Say, I'm not going alone. Because the word of God says, Psalm 68, verse 1, it says that, Let God arise. Let his enemy be scattered. Say, Heavenly Father, on this watch, on this year of the open door, I arise with the Lord of hosts. I arise with the Lord of hosts. With the Lord of hosts. Oh, Lord, arise. Let every enemy be scattered. Be scattered in this new year. Let every enemy be scattered. 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 Let them 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 be scattered. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Exodus 14, 22. So the children of Israel went to the midst of the sea on the dry ground. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says that, so the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea on dry ground. It's a miracle. Amen. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father on, this watch, on this watch, in this new year, this new year I'm, going I'm going through it, through it. On dry ground, on on on, 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 miracles. on miracles. I walk on, on miracles on this on this watch, on this watch. in this new, year, this new year. I walk, I walk on, miracles. on miracles. You see, as, that is why the Lord told us to arrive wherever you are and walk wherever you are. Walk around if you are if you are driving. Be, I mean, look, look, look at yourself <laughs> walking. Hallelujah! Exactly. Wherever you are, rise up on your feet and just walk because it's a prophetic walk. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father. On, this watch, on this watch, I declare the declare as I arise. As I rise this new year, I'm walking on miracles on a daily basis. I walk on miracles. Hallelujah. The Bible says that the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea. The sea represented stumbling block. The sea represented things that would destroy them. But they went through it on the dry ground. Say, Heavenly Father, on this watch, I declare that declare. In the year, in the year of the open door, the open door. I, go I go through the midst of the sea, of the sea. On, on dry ground, on, dry ground. on miracles, on miracles. signs and wonders. Follow me. I decree and declare. I walk on miracles. Miracles of the law. Miracles of the law. Miracles of the law. I walk on daily miracles. 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 
I walk on daily miracles. I traverse on daily miracles. I walk on daily miracles in the midst of the sea. I walk on daily miracles in the name of Jesus. Friend, you may be going through some issue. As you are praying with us, you are working on miracles. Yes. Oh, say I walk on miracles. Signs and wonders. I walk on miracles. Signs and wonders. And listen, and the waters were a wall to them on the right and on the left. Listen, the waters that are a stumbling block, they will stand at, at attention. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father. You, are you are able to do anything <laughs> to your glory. Your oh, Lord. Oh, God. You have turned my, my, my Red Sea into a dry land. A dry land. And I'm working on miracles in the name of Jesus. Yeah. You, have made the, you have made the sea a stump. A, 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 a wall on my left, a wall on, a wall on my right, right. standing attention. attention. You see, when there's a wall on your right, left wall on your right, means that the, the, the Bible says that Jesus' name is the strong tower. Yes. The righteous friend and, and is safe. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. It means that as you are walking in the name of Jesus, on your left, on your right, no satanic agenda. On this new year, no satanic agenda. Hey, hallelujah. Amen. Say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I stand on your word. Exodus 14, 14. 22. 22. I decree and declare. I walk, I walk in the midst of the sea, on dry ground, on miracles, on miracles. Lift up your voice and decree and declare. You are walking in miracles. You are walking on miracles. You are walking on miracles. You are walking on miracles. We are walking on miracles. You are walking on miracles. Miracles, signs and wonders. You are walking on miracles. You are walking on miracles. Oh, hallelujah. Listen, the Holy Ghost is telling me that the heaven is what? The streets of gold. So if you are walking on miracles, it's, it's a rehearsal. I say dress rehearsal. Oh, say it's a dress rehearsal. Say I decree and declare. On this watch, on this new year, I walk on miracles. I walk in the midst of the sea on miracles. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, you are making the sea. Stand attention on my left and on my right, and I'm walking on miracles. Oh, lift up my voice and begin to pray. You are walking on miracles. We are walking on miracles. Miracles into the new year. Miracles into the new year. We are walking on miracles. We are walking on miracles. You are walking on miracles. You are walking on miracles. Miracles in the new year. Miracles in the new year. We are walking on miracles. 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 With the glass, with the seer, as a wall on my left, on my right. In the name of Jesus, I walk on miracles. 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 In Jesus' mighty Oh, hallelujah. If you look at chapter 15, verse 19 of Exodus, it says that for the horses of Pharaoh went, went with his chariots and his horsemen into the sea. <laughs> into the same sea that you and I are walking into miracles. When they went in, the sea destroyed them. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible says, and the Lord brought the, back the waters of the sea upon them. But the children of Israel went on dry land in the midst of the sea. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father. I declare and declare. declare, declare. In, this year, in this new year, of the open door, open door. any enemy, enemy of Pharaoh, Pharaoh chasing me, chasing me with horns and chariots, oh Lord, oh, Lord. let them be destroyed. Let them be destroyed by my miracles. Let them be destroyed. By my miracles. Remember, you are children of Israel. You and I, we are working on what? Miracles in the midst of the sea. In the same miracle in the midst of the sea, is destroying the Israelites. It's destroying the, what? the Pharaoh and his, and his cohorts and the horses and riders. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father. on this watch, let the miracles that are working on destroy my enemies, destroy Satan and his cohorts on a daily basis. Let the miracle destroy as I walk on miracles. Let that miracle destroy my enemies. Let it destroy my enemies. Let it destroy the horse and riders. Let it destroy them. 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 
in the name of Jesus, in this new year, say hallelujah, say hallelujah, say heavenly father, any weapon of the enemy designed to test me on this new year, in my new year of the open door, let them be destroyed, let them be destroyed, let them be destroyed by their own skins, let them be destroyed by the by the midst of the sea, let them be destroyed as I walk on dry ground in the midst of the sea, as I walk on dry ground, miracles, signs and wonders, lift up your voice and begin to pray, miracles, signs and wonders are following us, we are working on miracles, signs and wonders, 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 I just have been destroyed. They 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 have been destroyed by my miracles. In the name of Jesus, say Heavenly Father. Oh, say Heavenly Father. Let my miracles destroy. Destroy my enemies. Let 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 it destroy my enemies. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now, right now, in the name of Jesus. Say, I walk on miracles. Say, on this new year, I walk on miracles on a daily basis by the blood of Jesus. I walk on miracles in Jesus' name. Oh, give a clap of faith to the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. And in this year, walking on miracles, signs and wonders. Oh, hallelujah. We cannot finish this broadcast if you are not born again. You may be joining us and right now you realize that you don't have Jesus as Lord, the personal Savior. I want to give you an opportunity. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father on, this watch, on this watch, I surrender to you. I, to you. I, realize, I realize I don't have Jesus as my Lord, the personal Savior. If the rapture takes place right now, I'm not going. Forgive me, Lord, for every bit of sin I ever committed. Write my name in the Lamb Book of Life. Holy Spirit, come and fill me and help me in this exciting Christian walk. Thank you, Father, for letting Jesus die on the cross of Calvary for me. I'm grateful in Jesus' name. I'm a friend. If you are, if you have confessed with us, you are born again. If you look on the screen, there are numbers, there are counselors waiting to speak to you and to help you in this walk. The Lord bless you for joining us to pray. Keep sharing, keep sharing, keep sharing, keep praying. Listen, other mighty men of women of God are coming on, on, on other watches. Let's keep praying. 100 days of intensive prayer challenge. The miracles have begun already. The Lord bless you. See you soon. Amen. Amen. Now, in Psalm 23, the Bible said, Thou restored my soul. I want to believe God. And then he said, I will restore health unto you. Say health. I'm believing God for a clean medical report for everybody. That as you are aging, as you are aging, your strength will be renewed that as you are aging, instead of becoming old, you become younger. Yeah. Oh, I'm believing, I'm believing. That is, listen, that is the prayer I'm praying for myself. Oh. And I'm extending the same blessing to you. Yeah. That as, as you are aging, instead of looking old, you'll be looking young. Yeah. And when you wake up in the morning, no aches, no pain. You wake up in the morning and you are like a young lion. Ready to devour. Say yes. 
you wake up and you are like a young eagle ready to soar. Say yes. So I'm believing God also for financial restorations. Any money that belongs to you that has been blocked, let it be unblocked. Any money that belongs to you that has been tied up, let it be loose. Any money that belongs to you that has been buried, we resurrect it. We open up your graves. We command monies to come out of the grave. We send angels to go to the north, the east, the south, the west, to release your breakthrough. And today I declare that the battle over your finances is won. The battle over your health is over. The battle over your family is over. The battle over your children is over. Hear me. I'm making prophetic declaration because, hear me, because I don't say if I'm a prophet, I don't need to say prophet. It's children and people who don't know who they are. Who say, if I'm a prophet, I'm making prophetic declaration. So give me some high energy response. From today, the battle over your future is over. The battle over your finances is over. The battle over your children is over. The battle over your health is over. The battle over your inheritance is over. Your battle over that land is over. The battle over that building is over. Those of you who have started building, but you haven't finished, give me a wave, everyone. Okay. Lift it up. I declare on authority before heaven and earth that anyone here that has begun to build, you will finish it in the name of Jesus. I declare that you will not build for another to inherit it. You will not plant for another to harvest. But whatever project you have begun, you will finish it in the name of Jesus. You will have the resources needed in the name of Jesus. And when you finish it, you will live in it healthy. You will live in your own house in good health. With a sound mind. With love and power in your heart. If you believe it, say amen. Any embargo and restriction that the enemy has placed on your finances and has placed on your investment your business, your bank account and your life, home and abroad today by divine authority I declare that the embargo and the sanction is permanently lifted 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 I declare furthermore any door the enemy has closed concerning your finances concerning your breakthrough Concerning your spirituality, your relationship with God, concerning your investments, you're going out and you're coming in. Today I command, by the keys of David, let closed doors be open. Closed doors, open, 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 open. Let closed doors be open. Home and abroad, closed doors, open. Closed doors, open. Now, now, I command, Every open door, remain open. Remain open. I declare you will access your open door. You will enter your open door. Nothing will cut you short before your time. You will not die prematurely. You will not die in your sleep. You will not die in your dreams. You will not die when you go out. You will not die when you go out. You will live long. You will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus, lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it up. I command multiplicity of breakthroughs. Oh, I said multiplicity of breakthroughs in every area of life.
in the name of Jesus. Now, any door open will remain open in the name of Jesus. Any chain, any embargo, any sanction lifted will not be put on you again. In the name of Jesus, any tongue, any mouth, any voice that is lying about you, we silence it in the name of Jesus. We silence it in the name of Jesus. We silence it in the name of Jesus. Any misrepresentation, any misrepresentation, any spirit of character assassination that is destroying your character, destroying your image, misrepresenting you, falsely accusing you, today in the name of Jesus, we shut that mouth. We shut that mouth. We dismiss that voice. Let it be discredited in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, anything that is threatening your life, anything that is threatening your existence and threatening your future, whatever it is, today, from the throne room of the Father, let it be terminated. 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 In the name of Jesus, terminated. Above all, whatever you have lost, wasted years, wasted moments, anything you have lost, a wife, a husband, children, loved ones, money, land, property, glory, honor, exaltation, promotion, whatever it is that you have lost, I decree restoration. I decree restoration. I command restoration. And between now and the next hundred, year, hundred days, as we pray, let the years of your people be prolonged. Give your people hundred years and over. And within the next hundred days, let there be outstanding breakthroughs, mind-blowing testimonies, and let double blessing be credited to the account. Double victory credited to the account. And let, let double failure and defeat be credited to the account of our enemies. In the name of Jesus. Lift it up. Lift up your hands wherever you are. Heavenly Father, behold the documents. Behold the businesses. Behold the works of the hands of your children. Behold, behold, behold the sweat and the labor of your children. Passports, business certificates, lands and investments and businesses that are suffering Heavenly Father, before the throne I demand as your servant that you shall remember every one of these your children for good. And I command today in the name above every other name, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, let the floodgates of heaven open. Let the floodgates of heaven open over your people, over their businesses, over their passports, over their travels, over their investments, over their documents, over the works of their heart. Let the floodgates of heaven open. In the name of Jesus, I command the floodgates of heaven to open. Put your hands together as the floodgates of heaven open. Let it open. I can't hear you. Let the floodgates of heaven open. Thank you, Lord. Within these hundred days, let the floodgates of heaven open. Let the light of God shine. Let your light shine. Now, now hear me. Hear me. Hear me. I was driving the other day and there was a lot of traffic. Then my driver said, there is a, there is a shortcut before the flower pot. So you branch right, then you go to the end, then you branch left, and you are on airport hills. In less than five minutes, we were there and people were still in the traffic and the traffic was huge and they were standing in. 
And I sat in the car and I said, this is the secret of our life. When you don't know the way, you are stuck. But when you know the way, others will be stuck and you'll be ahead of them. From today, I declare, you will find a way. I said you will find a way. You will no more be stuck in the name of Jesus. You will not be stuck financially. You will not be stuck in the journey of life. You will not be disadvantaged anymore. In the name of Jesus, lift up your hands. Any way that others are not seen, you will see it in the name of Jesus. I declare you will see it in the name of Jesus. And anything others cannot make sense of, you will make sense of it. You will make sense of it. Now I command the light of God to shine on you. Let the light of God shine on you and make you outstanding. Make you unique. Distinguish you from others. Be above only. Be the head and not the tail. In the name of Jesus. Be first and not last. You will no more be stuck in life. You will no more be disadvantaged. You will be above only. Above only. Hear me. You know what I'm doing? I'm doing something. By the pronouncement I'm making, I'm overriding and overturning <laughs> negative cases over your life. Anything negative over your life is abolished. Abolish. Put your hands and say, abolish, abolish, abolish. Now, hear me, hear me, expect a change. Now, anything that was crooked in your life before you came to this prayer meeting, I declare it's made straight. Every crooked part in your life is made straight. Every mountain and hill is made plain. Every valley is exalted. Say yes. Say yes. Any complication in your life is resolved in the name of Jesus. Any unresolved issue is resolved in the name of Jesus. Within the next hundred days, you will have upper hand in life hand in everything. Upper hand in legal suit, legal cases, financial matters, health issue, medical issue, relationship, marital issue. You will have the upper hand. I prophesy the upper hand. I declare you will have the upper hand. Upper hand in everything. And those, those who laughed at you, those who mocked you, those who despise you, look down upon you. I prophesy by the hand of the Lord that they will stand in awe of you. They will see and they will stand in awe. You are becoming wonderful. God is about to blow your mind. I declare the story of your life has changed from today. Your story is changed from today. The Lord shall prepare you a table in the presence of your enemies. Say yes. Now, lastly, 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 just trust me. I know what I'm doing. I'm pushing you in the spirit. I'm telling you. Ohiniba. I'm pushing you in the name of Jesus. You are a child of the king. I'm pushing you. Lift it up. Lift it up. Psalm 126. 
The Bible said, he said, when the Lord turned again our captivity, we were like them that dream. And he said, laughter, there was laughter in our mouth. I declare unto you, in these hundred days, God will put laughter in your mouth. You will laugh. You know what laugh means? Hear me. The other day I was there and I sensed like I should laugh. But, but, but the circumstances around me wasn't a laughter circumstances. Things, some things were bothering me. And I said, how can you laugh when all these things are happening? And the Lord said, laugh. So, so I started in the flesh. I couldn't laugh in the spirit. Do you see what I'm saying? Because I would lie. By the spirit, I was not happy. So I didn't know how to laugh. So I just started, ha! Ha, ha, ha! Ha, ha! Ha, 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 ha! Then suddenly I started laughing. You are going to laugh. You are about to laugh. In the name of Jesus, say yes. Now, hear me. Anyone that laughed at you, you are about to laugh at them. God is turning the tables in your favor. The tables are turning in your favor. Within these hundred days, trust me, I know what I'm telling you. God will turn the table in your favor. I'm telling you. Somebody said, how do you know? Because I'm a living witness. I'm a living witness. I'm telling you. People have despised me, looked down upon me, mocked at me, laughed at me, written me off, and it was just a matter of time. And God turned it. God turned it. Say yes. Say yes. Hear me. The Bible said in Job 42 10, he said, and the Lord turned the captivity of Job and gave him twice as much as he had. Say double, 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 double. Hear me. Within these hundred days, I guarantee you that God will turn your captivity. And hear me. Hear me. If you are nobody, in the eyes of people, you are about to become somebody. Hear me? If you are nothing, eh, you are about to become something. God will change your status in life. He will do it so men who are arrogant and proud will humble themselves. Onyame no no. Onyame no no. Oya nwa nwa ejuma. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord bless you. Thank you once again for joining this watch. And then we want to use this opportunity to thank God for the life of His Eminence, the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan William, for coming out with these powerful vision and powerful ideas to stand in the gap for the next hundred days. Hallelujah. And then you are also welcome being part of these hundred days marathons prayers. And I believe God that. By the time these hundred days come to an end, you have a reason to celebrate the goodness of God in your life. And I want to assure you that as long as you stay connected to these prayers, the blessings of God 
will be released in your life, in every aspect of your life, as you stay connected, as you share this link to your friends and family, to invite them to this prayer, you will not be left behind. The blessings of God will be released upon your life, and you will be a partaker of the kingdom benefit. The Lord bless you once again. Hallelujah. Today, we'll be dealing with a few things, and, and then uh, be believing God for a turnaround in every area of our life for the next hundred days. Hallelujah. So wherever you are, I want you to join me, begin to thank God for this opportunity. Thank God for the life that he has given to you to be among the living. Begin to lift up your voice and let's thank God. Father, we thank you for that which you have done. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for all that which you have provided our way in the name of Jesus. And we thank you. We are here and we are saying we are grateful for that which you have done, for your protection, your preservation, your loving kindness towards us. We are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful because you have given us to be among the you have given us life a reason to be among the living a reason to walk a reason to speak we are grateful we are grateful we are thankful for all you have done and all you are doing in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god we bless your name in the power of the name of jesus christ the son of the living god hallelujah hallelujah now let's go into the bible the bible says in the book of psalm 61 verse 1 the verse 6 it says that Thou shall prolong the king's life and his age as many generations. Hallelujah. We are come to announce that according as the word declare, that he will prolong your life. He will prolong your days. That the Lord will grant you divine ability to live long. In other words, you will not be cut short. In other words, you will not die before your time. In other words, no power and no plot of the devil will take your life before your time. In the name of Jesus, we want to lift up our voice and begin to pray that, Oh Lord, prolong my days, prolong my life. Let the agenda and the assignment of premature death be arrested. Let it be overturned in the name of Jesus. Say, I declare, I declare in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus according, according to the word, to the word of the Lord. Of the in Psalm 61, verse 6, that oh Lord, you will prolong, you will prolong, you will prolong the, life, the, life, the life, the life, and his year, and the years of the king for many generations. We declare, oh Lord, we lift up men and women, men and women before the throne of the Lord as we lift up our voice, oh Lord, let our life, our life. Be prolonged, prolong, prolong our, our life, our, our days for many generations in the name of Jesus. As we lift up our voice, our voice we enforce, we enforce the power and the word of the Lord over our life, our family, our children, our husband, our wife. In the name of Jesus, our leaders, our leaders, our presidents, our pastors, our pastors, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, as we lift up our voice in prayer, let there be a divine protection, protection over our life, in the name of Jesus, lift up your voice, whatever you are, and begin to pray, begin to pray, in the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, According to your word, we declare on the account of the blood right now that you will prolong our days, you will prolong our life in the name of Jesus. We declare, oh Lord, that we will not die before our time. Men will not die before the time. We will arrive every assignment of premature death, assignment of premature death projected against the life of men and women against our destiny, against our career, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let the agenda be arrested, the assignment of premature death against your people, against family, against household, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let the assignment be arrested. We are ready the assignment. We will return it. We will reverse it on the account of the blood. In the name of Jesus, whatever assignment that they have deployed against family, against home, premature death, Holy Ghost by fire, we cancel it, we overrun it, we overturn it. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the premature death, premature death against men, 
against women, against community, against churches, against family. Right now by fire. Let it be arrested. Let it be arrested. Let it be arrested. We command it to go back. Let every assignment of premature death be neutralized. We override it. We override it. I will declare long life. We declare long life. Long life over the life of our fathers, the fathers of the land. In the name of Jesus, we declare oh God that our father, the Archbishop, and all men and women of God, they will live long. They will live long. They will live long to impart, to impart the generation in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, preserve the life, the life of men and women. Oh Lord, oh Lord, let them be preserved, be secure. Let the life of our father, the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan William, be secure, preserved for many generations in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That the life of the king shall be preserved. The life of many shall be preserved. That your life shall be preserved. That any premature death, an assignment of premature death, a projection to take you by surprise, evil projection to take you unaware, to kill you before your time. Let that agenda be arrested. So we arrest that agenda. We overrun that assignment. We abolish that agenda. So we declare no one will die from now to the end of the year. Oh, say I prophesy over my family, my household, my loved one, my parents, my spiritual leaders. None of them will die before they are time in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at what the Bible says in Job. In Job. Let, listen, we want to release every expectation. Hallelujah. Yeah. There is expectations that the Lord has ordained for your life. You see, the Bible says that my, 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 my expectation, what I expect for you in Jeremiah, says that my thought towards you, thought of peace. Thought of peace, not of evil. That I may give you a expected end. You have an expected end in the kingdom of God. Any power assigned to interfere with God's expected end over your life, over your family, over your household, in the name of Jesus, let the agenda be arrested. Say, 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 I arrest every agenda of Satan to take you on the word, on the spirit, on the account of the blood of Jesus. Let's search an agenda. Be squat. Be squat. Say, I squat every agenda of the enemy against my life, my health, my family, my destiny. I declare by fire. Let the agenda be squat. Be squat. By fire. I overturn. I overturn. Arrows of premature death protected in the realms of the spirit against my life, my family, my household, my household, our country, our country, our nation, nations, nations of this world on the account of the blood. Let's search agenda. Be reverse, 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 be reverse. The name of Jesus. We come to prophesy. Come to enforce the word of the Lord that you will not die. That you will not die. You will not die before your time. No arrow projected against you shall prosper. Any weapon they have released to attack your health, to attack your body, let that weapon go back. Let that weapon go back. Let the weapon go back. Let the weapon be reversed. Let the weapon be reversed. And now we declare that the Lord will preserve your life. The Lord will protect your life. In the name of Jesus. Wherever they have calculated in the spirit to make sure that you struggle. Let that agenda be abolished. I said let the agenda be abolished. Look at what the Bible says in Psalm 1 25 verse 3. He said that for the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the Lord, the Lord of the righteous. 
Lest the righteous put forth his hand into iniquity. The, the rock of the wicked will not rest upon your life. Jesus. And the rock of the wicked are sorry to rest upon the life of the Lord for the righteous. Yes. Let that let that agenda, let that rock be broken. Be broken. Say, I break. I break. Every rock, every rock of the wicked, of the wicked. Every, agenda every agenda of the wicked, wicked. against my, my life, my life, against my family, my loved ones, my children, my children, my career, my parents. So I declare by fire, let's search a rock of the wicked. Be arrested, be arrested, be arrested, be arrested, be arrested. So I arrest. The rock of the wicked, and I declare according to the word of the Lord, the rock of the wicked will not will not rest over my life, my family, my destiny, my church, my community. In the name of Jesus, I override the powers of the wicked. In the name of Jesus, we terminate and thwart the assignment of the wicked. Against our nation, our nation. Ghana, 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 right now, Ghana, right now Ghana, by fire, let's search agenda. Be arrested. 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 You will return it. 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 By fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The enemy will not frustrate your life. I say Satan will not exact on you. He will not release the rod of sickness against you. He will not release the rod of poverty against you. He will not release the rod of wickedness against you. Let your rod be arrested. I say, let the rod of the wicked be arrested. Say, I arrest it. I deplore the hand of the Lord. Say, I release the hand of the Lord against any wicked personality in my community, in my family, in my household, in my nation. I sign, I sign to enforce the agenda of the enemy right now by prayer. Whoever they are, whatever they are, let the agenda be grounded, be grounded, be grounded. Let them, let them be arrested. We will arrest the agenda. We will attack the power and will declare. Let the Lord strike them wherever they are in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The rod of the enemy will not rest upon you. You will not be afflicted. You will not be bombarded. In the name of Jesus. Now let's 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 let's, let's read this scripture. Job 20, verse, verse 15. See that he has swallowed down riches, then he shall vomit them up again. God shall cast them out of his belly. Any power aside to swallow your riches. Any serpentine spirit assigned to swallow your wealth. Any power assigned to swallow the wealth of this nation. Any individual that represents a serpent assigned to swallow their families, destinies, wealth and riches will declare by fire. Let them vomit it. Let them vomit it. Say, let them from it, every riches, wealth, prosperity, they are swallowed in their belly over the years on the account of the blood. Oh Lord, arise and let them vomit it out now in the name of Jesus. So we declare by prayer, I command a recovery, a recovery of every stolen blessings, stolen breakthrough. I declare on the account of the word, let them be released, be recovered in the name of Jesus. I demand, I command a recovery, a recovery of all our stolen blessings, our stolen breakthroughs, our stolen riches, our stolen prosperity. I declare that fire wherever they are, let the Lord cast them out unto us 
in the name of Jesus, I declare by fire, whatever, 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 personality, personality, that I swallow, swallow our wealth, our riches, our prosperity in the belly, I declare by fire, let them vomit it. Vomit it. Let them vomit your prosperity. Let them vomit your wealth. Let them vomit your riches. Let them vomit your blessings in the name of Jesus. By fire. Let them vomit it right now. In the name of Jesus. We cast it out from the belly of the adversary. In the name of Jesus. We cast it out. We cast it out. We command it to come out from the belly of the enemies. In the name of Jesus. By the hand of the Lord. By the hand of the Lord. We cast it out. Whatever they have swallowed in their belly. Oh Lord. Let them be cast out and we prophesy a divine recovery. We prophesy divine recovery. We demand a divine recovery. In the name of Jesus, we declare divine recovery. Let that be a recovery of every stolen blessing. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Any satanic agenda to make sure that they have swallowed our wealth, our riches, our prosperity in their belly. We declare by the hand of the Lord, let it be cast out. I say, let it be cast out. 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 Say in the name of Jesus. Say, I declare on the account of the world. Let that be. Let there be a sudden release, release of every expectation, expectation, expectation of the people of God. I declare, let it be released. Say 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 be released. In the name of Jesus. Say let the agenda and the assignment of any individual, individual, individual. Projected, projected, release to hijack, to hijack, to hijack blessings and breakthroughs that belong to the people of God right now by fire. Say, let the agenda be arrested. We speak on the account of the blood of Jesus. But as long as you remain a child of God, may God grant you every expectation. I say your expectation shall be released. I say your expectation shall be released. Say I release every expectation. Say let my expectation be released. Be released. Be released. Be released. Be released. Say any wicked hand, demonic hand, holding my destiny, my marriage, my marriage, my career, my future, my blessings. I declare on the account of the word. Let's search a hand with her. Say with her. Let the hand with her. Lift up the voice. Let the hand with her. We command that hand to with her. We command that hand to with her. Let the hand 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 with her. We command that hand to with her. In the name of Jesus. We command that hand to with her. In the name of Jesus. We command that hand to with her. In the name of Jesus. Let the hand with her. Let the hand with her. We speak and prophesy that every hand that is holding onto your testimony. Let the hand with her. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to pray that men will be healed and restored. In the name of Jesus. We are demanding your healing. Jesus. Wherever you are, anything that the enemy has deployed to exact on you, Jesus. to make sure that you are afflicted Jesus. on the account of the blood, the we demand your healing. The we prophesy your healing. The we declare your healing. The now may you be recovered. The In the name of Jesus, the Jesus. be healed and be acquitted. The I command a clean medical report. We demand a clean medical report that your medical report will be clean. In the name of Jesus, may your body be revived. May your body be revived. May your body be revived. Receive your healing. 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 In the name of Jesus, we declare that you will be healed on every side. You will be healed on every side. Any attack over and against your body to make sure that you suffered. Let the attack be arrested. I say, let the attack be arrested. Let the powers of darkness be broken. And let the light of God shine upon you. I declare once again a clean medical report. A clean medical report. A clean medical report. 
you will receive the healing of God in your body. That sickness is disappearing right now. That pain at your back is going. That infirmity is leaving you. That sickness that doctors are calling is going right now. In the name of Jesus, I speak to every dead fiber in your body, every dead organ in your body. They are coming alive right now. Let them come alive. Come alive. Come alive. Come alive. The name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Now listen to this one. The Lord will restore you. Say, I command. I command. Divine. Divine. Restoration. Restoration. And a renewal. And a renewal. Say, I command. I command. Over my life. Divine. Divine. Restoration. 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 And renewal. renewal. In the name name of Jesus. Jesus. Now we declare that the Lord will will restore you. The Lord will restore you. The The Lord will restore you. Say, glory of God. Glory of God. We ask, we ask for, your for your wisdom. So we ask, we ask the Heavenly Father. Father. We, pray. We, pray. We, pray. we pray. We pray. We pray. We pray for your restoration, restoration. and renewal, and renewal. In, every in every area of our life. Of our life. Restore. Restore. Say restore, restore. What, has what has been taken, taken away, away of our life. life. Say restore. 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 My stolen. My stolen. My stolen. Blessings. My stolen. Goose. My stolen. Photos. I declare on the account of the blood. Oh Lord. Restore me. Restore me. Restore me. Restore me. Restore me. Say oh Lord. Restore my relationship. Restore. Restore my health. Restore my finances. Restore my dreams. So far, the enemy has hijacked our dreams. May the Lord restore your dreams. May the Lord restore your dreams. May the Lord restore your dreams. Say, oh Lord, restore my dreams. Restore my business. Restore my relationship. Restore. Restore my marriage. Restore my career. Restore every area of my life in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, renew my spirit. So first, we need a renewal of spirit. Spirit. May the Lord renew your spirit. I said, may the Lord renew your spirit. Say, oh Lord, renew my spirit. Renew my spirit and give me energy and strength. Energy and strength and strength to perceive, to perceive, to perceive, to perceive two difficult challenges in the name of Jesus. Say, I declare the renewal, the renewal of a spirit. Let my spirit be renewed. Renew me, renew me one more time and give me the strength to fight, the strength to prosper, the strength, the power, the power to prosper. It is written that it is the Lord that gives the power to make work. I receive the power to make work in the name of Jesus. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, I declare, may your hand be released over my life, over my health. Now, now say this after me. Say, I declare, oh Lord, may your hands be released, be released over my life for healing, for healing, for healing and wholeness, and wholeness, and wholeness, and wholeness in every area of my life. In the name of Jesus, say, oh Lord, help us trust in your promises. Say, oh Lord, help us trust in your promises of protection, of protection in the name of Jesus. Let our mind be renewed and let our prosperity be released. No more delay, no more sabotage, no more setback, no more frustration. In the name of Jesus, I release a supernatural power of God over my life. My family, my loved ones, my household, my children, in every area of my life. In the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you for joining this watch. My name is Reverend Paul Abu. The Lord bless you. See you on the next watch. Amen.
Oh, hallelujah. We give God praise for such another glorious times of divine encounter he has given to us. Hundred days of intensified prayer watch. And uh, Papa calls for you to join, be a part of such great move of God. Be a part of such uh, prayers and re get registered, like, thumbs up, invite friends, let them join. You can host watch parties uh, and share, share this, this move of God and let people join and be a part and make sure that the agenda of God and the visions that God has given to the fathers would be established in Jesus' mighty name. We give God praise. Today we are so grateful and came to announce to you and to encourage you that don't be afraid. Second Kings chapter 6, 16, the prophet said that, that fear not. He said unto him, fear not. Fear not. They that are with us are more than they that are with them. Wherever you are, speak to yourself, I am not afraid. Say, I refuse to be afraid. I am not afraid. I am not afraid. I don't know which area of your life that intimidates you are. God says that fear not, uh, for they that are with you are more than they that are with them. Uh, you shall not be afraid. Uh, he said, though a host may encamp uh, against me, I shall not be afraid. Uh, Psalm 27 3, though a host uh, may encamp against you, uh, say, I shall not be afraid. Uh, don't be afraid. Uh, you shall not be afraid. Uh, you shall not be afraid. Uh, I shall not be afraid. Uh, wherever you are declare you shall not be afraid uh, for he has rather given unto me he has rather given unto you uh, the spirit of boldness uh, of sonship uh, by which we call our uh, father we call upon this father who rules child of God he rules uh, and the elders say that he super rules in the affairs of man we give praise to this eternal God uh, who, must give, who has given us such privilege a chance uh, for us to come to him in prayer. We bless the name of the living God unreservedly for the grace that he has bestowed upon his man servant, the Archbishop, uh, who has indeed championed such glorious affair by which we are able to make a manifestation of the heavens down here on earth. Uh, we give praise to the eternal God. Papa has declared that it is a Kairos time. Indeed, it is a season of open doors. Some Somebody say open doors. Uh. Somebody declare open doors. Uh. It is my season of open doors. Uh. Let my doors be opened. Uh. May your doors be opened. Uh. Let my doors be opened. Uh. Let somebody's door be opened. Uh. I don't know which area of your life uh, that door must be opened. Uh. The door of marriage. Uh. The door of good education. Uh. The door of gainful employment. Uh. The door of peace. Uh. The door of uh, healings, uh, the door of joy, uh, the door of, of, of sanity, the door of sanity amongst your children, uh, the door of sanity in that marriage, uh, the door of sanity in that relationship, uh, the door of spirituality in the name of Jesus. Uh, let your door be open. Uh, say, let my door be open. Uh, oh, let my door be open. Uh, it's a season. Uh, oh, the set time uh, of my door is now. Uh, yeah the time to favor me the time for my door to be opened it's now in the name of Jesus may your door be open and let not your door be shut he said I'll set before you an open door wide that cannot be shut may your door not be shut by any force any energy nor any man in the name of Jesus Christ we declare let the veil oh that will inhibit that will challenge the open Door. Let the veil be lifted. Uh, and let the veil be lifted. Uh. Oh, come on, let the veil be lifted. Uh, and let your door be opened. Uh, and let your door be opened. Uh. Oh, let the veil be lifted. Uh. Child of God, there is a veil uh, that indeed can challenge the door. And as it is open, uh, you have entered. 
and that door but they still uh, a, a challenge uh, may that challenge be lifted uh, in the name of Jesus uh, the word of the Lord declares uh, uh, Luke 23 45 uh, he said uh, and the sun turned black uh, and the air was shaking uh, and the veil uh, that was between uh, the holy of holies uh, and humanity come on was torn apart uh, let the veil be torn apart uh, let the veil be torn apart uh, let the veil be torn apart uh, and let the doors be open uh, let the door of souls be open uh. Let the door of salvation be opened. Let the door of deliverances be opened. Let the door of souls come on, somebody. Let the door of souls be open. The souls that must be won. The souls of God. The souls that must be won to the church. Come on, let that door be open. Let that door be open. He said, Pray you to the God of heavens, Matthew 9, that he will release laborers. Let the door of laborers for souls be open. Let the door for salvation be open uh, let there be salvation uh, let there be deliverances uh, let there be healings uh, let the blessings door be opened uh, come on somebody say be open uh, a great promising door effectual door is open let it be open uh, come on in the name of Jesus uh, first call uh, 69 effectual very promising the amplifier say uh, very promising door let it be open uh, let the door of souls be open uh, a soul that will become a leading a lead a soul to become a bishop a soul to become a reverend a soul to be an apostle a soul to be a leader let that soul come on be won in the mighty name of jesus christ may your door be opened my god when the door is open child of god it brings about us it brings about lightning. It brings about direction. It kills that kind of insecurity for life. It kills fear for life. And you are made, you are empowered. And Bible declares, according to the book of Matthew chapter 3, from verse 16, when he had been baptized, he left the water and straight away he was on the move. And Bible declares that there was an open heavens. His door was open. The door for Christ on earth was open and he was Introduce uh, it was empowered. Behold, uh, this is my beloved son. Uh, may your door of intro be open. Uh, may God open your door that will send you to places uh, you have never dreamt before, uh, but places you desire to be. Uh, come on, let it be open. Uh, and may your life uh, be empowered. Uh, let fear and let insecurity be taken away. Come on, uh, in the name uh, of Jesus. Uh, there are also doors uh, that are open, uh, but there is an an adversary that is raising objections, uh, an adversary raising contentions uh, uh, that seek to deny us uh, the blessedness, uh, the opportunities uh, that is within. Uh, come on today on the account of prayer, we declare by the blood uh, and by prayer, let that kind of objections uh, be overruled uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, be annulled, uh, be, 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 be cancelled, uh, be thwarted, uh, uh, be over in the name of Jesus. Uh, any form of objection uh, that is being raised against you uh, from the background, uh, from any quarters uh, at the workplace, uh, by any association, uh, by any relationship you got into, any objections uh, that rises against you, uh, say in the name of Jesus, uh, I declare by the power of the blood, uh, let it be overruled. Uh, say I overrule uh, any objection, uh, I overrule uh, any objection uh, of the enemy, any contention over my door open uh, come on in the name of Jesus uh, overrule it, overrule it uh, overrule it, overrule it uh, overrule it, uh, overrule it uh, somebody overrule it uh, in the name of Jesus uh, overrule it, overrule it uh, overrule it, uh, come on declare I uh, overrule it uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, let my door of blessings, uh, let the door of deliverance, uh, let the door of healings, uh, let the door of help, uh, let the door of game full employment. Uh, let the door of peace uh, in the family. Let the door of intelligence uh, for our children. Uh, let the door of studio, studiousness uh, for our children. Uh, come on, not be shut. Let it be open wide uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, let the door of great godliness. Uh, let the door of true spirituality. Come on, be open to somebody. Come on by your prayers. Uh, let that door be open. Uh, let that door be open to somebody. Right now, push it. Uh, 
Let it be open. Push. Let it be open. Let that door be open. In the name of Jesus. Let that door be open right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. We give God praise. We give God praise. Child of God. It's so lovely to appreciate the fact that the Bible declares that indeed a great door, first call, 16.9, a great door has been opened unto me, but many are the adversaries. So the enemy is always there, though the thing belongs to you, and yet he says that, no, I will not allow, I disallow. We also disallow on the account of the blood. In the name of Jesus, say, I disallow. I disallow any attempt to deny me. Say, I disallow it. I take my due. I take my portion. I take my portion. In the name of Jesus, I take my portion. I take my portion. Say, I take my portion. I take my portion. Ezekiel said, God said, I will keep overturning. I will keep overturning until the right owner die, possess it what is due him or her may you take hold of your lot of your due in the name of Jesus hallelujah and the scriptures continues to say in Isaiah 45 when God opens a door that cannot be shut verse 1b he continues to say in verse 2 he says that I would go before thee God himself is speaking. I would go before thee, my God. Somebody say, go before me. Let him move ahead of me. Let him make advances ahead of me. Let him lead. I give him the leading. Give God the leading in the life of that, of that family, in the life of the church, in the life of that business. Let God be giving the lead. Let the nations give God the lead. Let the leadership allow the leadings of God. Uh, Moses said that if you are not advancing with us, uh, if you are not going before us uh, uh, by the clouds in the day uh, and by fire at night, uh, now nah, nah, I forget it. Uh, we are not making any move. Uh, may God lead us. Uh, say, lead me, Lord. Uh, somebody say, lead me, Lord. Uh, somebody say, Lord, lead me, Lord. Uh, lead me. Uh, lead me in this life. Uh, lead me in that marriage. Uh, lead me in that business. Uh, lead me uh, in that endeavor. Uh, lead me in that what I'm doing lead me Lord in raising this family lead me Lord in that ministry lead me Lord in my leaders lead me Lord in the name of Jesus and God said I would move ahead of you and the crooked places my God the crooked places God said I would move ahead of you and I would straighten up the crooked places child of God ah, the crooked places challenges the minds it challenges the Incredible people, uh, it challenges people uh, who know how, uh, it challenges people who are capable, uh, it challenges people to whom doors have been opened uh, for them to access uh, and to be blessed and to become a blessing. Uh, it challenges them. Uh, and God said, uh, I will clear away such challenges, uh, I will clear away uh, such deniers, uh, I will clear away uh, such opposition, uh, I will clear away such crookedness uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, let me be cleared away. I declare, let it be cleared away. Let it be cleared away. Go ahead of me. Clear away that which challenges me from accessing and benefiting from my open door. Let it be cleared. Come on, somebody push it. Let it be cleared. Let it be cleared. Let it be cleared. Let it be cleared. In the name of Jesus. Let it be cleared. Let it be cleared. My God, let it be cleared. He said, I would move ahead of you and I would straighten up the crookedness. Let every crookedness, let every everything on straight, let everything wayward in the blessedness, in that door open for that privileges, for that healings, for that souls, for that kind of deliverances, for that kind of blessings, for that gainful employment, for that resources needed for that thing. My God, let him straighten it up. Come on, push it. Declare, let it be straightened up in the name of Jesus. And the Lord said, I will break into pieces every iron gate, every door, every negative door, the watchers of the door that challenges the door. They bring me misrepresentations, door of misrepresentation, door of favoritism, nepotistic, nepotism. Let that door be crushed. He said, I will break them in the name of Jesus. Certain doors that are full of 
endearment, endearment, and those kind of things, you know, and denies credibility. It denies the ability to do people who can do and serve and be a blessing to the families, to the nation, to the communities, to the continents of the world. We declare God says that I would break into pieces, set iron gates, I will break into pieces, set iron, set doors, let it be broken. Come on, pussy, let it be broken in that marriage. Somebody is deploying something and taking away that marriage away from you, taking away that blessedness away from you. Come on, right now, a great door has been opened, but this is the adversary. Declare in the name of Jesus, you enforce your blessings. My God, he said, I would also go ahead of you and I will cut asunder the bars of iron. My God, these are bars, these are barricades, these are blockades. My God, a great door is open, but there are blockades in the name of Jesus. Somebody push it. Declare that any form of iron bars, any form of blockades, any form of confinement, any form that is seeking to deny me my blessings in not taking the blessings in that open door today on the account of prayer, on the account of the blood that brings victory, I declare, let it be taken and be broken into pieces in the name name of Jesus. It disallows progress. It disallows those that can deliver. It disallows those that can do in government. It disallows those that can do. Those with the giftings and the callings and grace to be of a blessing. Oh my God. The bias becomes a confinement. It becomes a limitation. Somebody knows somebody and somebody does not know somebody and he's capable and because of that he ain't going but that door be open, uh, and God said, none shall be able to shut. Uh, we enforce that word. Uh, I don't know your situation, uh, but enforce it and declare, none shall be able to shut. Uh, uh, there shall be no iron bars, uh, uh, brass bars, uh, that can be able to shut me down, uh, that can be able to rob me uh, and deny me uh, that which is mine. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, the peace of this nation uh, will not be denied. Uh, the peace of African nations uh, will not be denied. Uh, we enforce the peace thereof uh, right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, enforce the peace uh, in your life. Uh, let there be peace within you. Uh, he whose mind is stayed on God. Uh, come on, somebody. Let there be peace. Uh, obey your sire. Uh, Kadusa, be a tosire. Uh, let there be peace within your walls. Uh, let there be peace within your family. Let there be peace in that business. Uh, let there be peace uh, in that situation that is cropping up. Uh, oh, let there be peace. Uh, peace be sealed. Uh, let the power that is able to silence the waters, uh, let the power that is able to silence the storms, uh, and it was declared, uh, what manner of man is this, uh, that even the wind and the sea obey his voice, uh, let this voice be activated, uh, let this power be activated on your behalf, uh, in the mighty name uh, of Jesus Christ, uh, this is a character and a typical, a typical example of envy, they do not want to go there, neither would they allow you to go, we pray that select such characters be robbed, away from us. Uh, let them be snatched up away from you uh, as you enter your door. In the name of Jesus Christ, uh, we lift up prayer and declare, let the heavens be your helper. Uh, as the heavens open that door and as he has declared uh, that none shall be able to shut, uh, let indeed that door be preserved for you uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my God. Boko Zupadosayas. We lift up prayer, child of God. Say with me, dear Lord, I invite your glory, your presence uh, to fill every aspect of my life. Uh, let your light shine uh, upon me. Uh, let your light uh, guide my steps. Uh, let the light of God shine upon you. Uh, let his light guide your steps. Uh, oh, manifest your glory in my relationship. Uh, come on, let God manifest his glory in your relationship. Uh, let his light uh, be your guide uh, in the name uh, of Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, let his light uh, be your guide uh, in 
that career, in that ministry. Oh, man of God, let God be your God. May his presence bring transformation. Let his presence bring transformation. Declare there shall be transformation. By the prayers today, by my prayer, I am forced transformation. I am forced the favor of God. I am forced breakthrough on every side, in every area of my life. I declare in the name of Jesus, I shall not be denied. May you not be denied. May your life not be denied. May you stand tall regardless of the things you go through. Ah, yeah, though I walk through the valleys of the shadows of death, you shall not be afraid because the Lord indeed is going to be the one who watches your steps. He is going to shine on your way of darkness and there shall be illumination. There shall be hope. There shall be performances. There shall be a levelness for you to move, a clarity for you to move in the name of Jesus. We lift up prayers. Remembering the servant of God. Whose sons the Lord has lifted. And by whose hands the Lord has touched. To subdue. And to make sure that the will and the purpose to lead. And to ensure that the purpose of God is fulfilled. We pray for Papa Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams. We declare. Let him be comforted on every side. Let there be divine comfort for him. Let there be strength for him, for his soul, spirit, and body. May his family, his children, his wife be preserved in the name of Jesus Christ. Let him have peace within his walls. Oh God, as he engages himself in spirituality, may he overpower in the name of Jesus. The Lord cause him even to be fruitful. The Lord make him even to be uh, his voice uh, to lead and to, to, to lead and to bring uh, help to, to those who look to him and follow him. Uh, may this voice be amplified of God in the mighty name uh, of Jesus Christ. Uh, we pray for his man servant. Uh, let the man servant be safe. Uh, we pray safety for him. Uh, we pray safety for you. Uh, we pray safety for him. Uh, we pray safety for children. Uh, we pray safety for biological, spiritual sons uh, and daughters uh, in the name uh, of Jesus. Jesus, that of God, the Lord bless your life. The Lord honor you so much. I wish to encourage you to seriously join and be a part. Today I come to commend Christ unto you and to tell you that Jesus is still in the business of saving. This same Jesus whom you see, he has taken away the stench of death. And Bible says that he took away the stench of death. Oh, death, where is your power? Oh, grave. Where is your power? And this thing he has done, indeed, has made death lose its power, such that death has become just a transit point. And when one dies, then it, it becomes a, transform, a transformation to eternal life. Which of the eternal life are you going to have? He as many as believe, he said, John 3, 16, for he so loved the world ah, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him ah, shall not perish, but have eternal life. Ah, which of this eternal life are you going to have in, in with the sun or with the lake of fire? He said, I go where to prepare a place for you. Ah. Child of God, God is inviting you. He loves you. He said that even though when we're yet sinners, even when we're yet sinners, he loved us. He demonstrated his love towards us. Ah. My God, say with me, if you are ready, say, dear Lord, ah, I appreciate your love for me. Ah. Today I come to you ah, in my, 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 my state ah, as I am. I am a sinner. I accept you as my Lord and my personal Savior. I give my life and I surrender to you uh, in every aspect of my life. Uh, let your light shine in my life of darkness uh, and let my waywardness uh, uh, be dismissed uh, and let me have life and meaningful life. Uh, let me, oh God, uh, have a long life and a life of eternal with you. Uh, if you do not come and I have to die, uh, may I join you uh, in, the, in the life of eternity wherever you are preparing for me. Uh, may your life be given to Christ. I pray for you today that let the heavens keep you and preserve you. Let the heavens love you. Let the heavens appreciate your day, your, your move today. And may the heavens indeed have a covenant with you and find a good Bible believing church. Join Action Chapel all over the world and your life would indeed be blessed. The Lord will appreciate and love you. In Jesus' mighty name. Till we meet again. God bless you. 
and keep following and keep sharing share share it out and keep hosting watch parties uh, keep loving and keep thumbs up and keep liking and invite friends as well and let's make this move of god indeed a great one and let's suppress the agenda of the wicked one in jesus mighty name amen god bless you and love to you Praise the Lord. Father, we give you glory, give you praise. We thank God for yet another opportunity to come your way with the strategic prayer times around the clock. We want to thank God for the life of our Father, His Eminence, the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams. My Father, your Father. Let's thank God for His life. Let's thank God for His life. Wherever you are, just say a word of prayer for our father, the Archbishop, Nicholas Duncan Williams, for being obedient to the voice of the Lord and for this to come your way, if it's not by his obedience to the word of God. Uh, so wherever you are, just lift up a prayer for him right now. Father, we give you glory, we give you praise. We thank you for the life of our father, the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams. Let your name be exalted. Let your name be praised. We thank you for a father who has given himself wholeheartedly to the work. Father, we give you glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for all that you have done in his life and all that you are yet to do. We we'll decree and declare, O oh Lord, that is moving from grace to grace. Elevate him, O oh Lord. Strengthen him. Empower him. Renew his strength. Renew his energy. Renew him in the name of Jesus. Protect and preserve him and the entire family in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you glory. We thank you for his life. Amen. Now, I want us to thank God. I want you to thank God for your life. The Bible says in Psalm 92 verse 1, it says, It is a good thing to give, give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High God. So it's a good thing. Lift up your voice wherever you are. Begin to thank God for your life. Thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God. Father, we give you glory, we give you praise. Thanking you, O Lord for the life of my brothers and sisters, my mothers and my fathers who are right now online praying with me in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for their life. I thank you that you have kept them alive. That if they have bread today, it's because you gave them bread. If they are alive today, it's because you gave them life. Therefore, Lord, under this medium, I say thank you for their life. Thank you, O oh Lord. Thank you, O oh Lord, that you're giving them the energy. You're giving them the power to be able to even open their mouth and talk. Thank you, O oh Lord. We thank you, O oh Lord, for their families, their loved ones. If they have peace in their homes, it's because you gave them peace. If they have sound mind, it's because you gave them sound mind. Father, we give you glory. We give you praise. The Bible says that it's a good thing. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto the I name O Most High God. The Bible declares in First Peter chapter three verse thirteen. It says, "And who is he that will harm you, if if ye be followers of that which is good? Because we are followers of that which is good, nobody will harm us, and we are followers of." Thanking God because it's a good thing. Lift up your voice and bless the name of the Lord. We are followers of a good 
thing. And the good thing is giving thanks to the Lord. The good thing is praising God. I don't know what you are going through, but lift up your voice and bless the name of the Lord. Ah, in thanking God, the Lord will come through for you. The Bible declares that he inhabit the praise of his children. Therefore, by praising the name of the Lord, the presence of God abide with you. I should lift up your voice and bless the name of the Lord in the comfort of your homes, in your offices. Let the presence of the Lord abide with you. Let the presence of the Lord be with you. And by the presence of the Lord, you override any demonic and satanic presence in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we give you glory. Oh, we thank you, O Lord. We give you all the praise. We give you all the adoration. Oh, thank you. Thank you for life. Thank you for life. If there is somebody, if there is a brother, if there is a sister, if there is a mother or father who is praying with me right now and going through some challenges, going through some pain, going through some sickness, Father, even as we give you thanks, even as we give you praise, as my brothers give you praise, my sisters, my fathers and mothers lift up their voice and worship you and worship and your holy name. I pray right now, O Lord, bring healing to their bones. Bring healing to their body in the name of the Lord Jesus. As your name is praised, as your name is worshipped, as we thank you, O Lord, irrespective of the state in which we are in, irrespective of what we are going through. As we thank you, O Lord, we pray right now that you come through for us in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, receive your praise, receive your worship in the name of Jesus. Oh, Masagada Braskia Talia, hey, Mapando Kodobroskia, Araba Baliaza. If God be for us, if God be for us, if we lift up our praise unto Him and He abide with us. Us. If God abide with us, if God be for us, who can be against us? I so lift up your voice and praise God and thank God. The Lord, the Bible says, He inhabit the praise of His children. So God comes to dwell in your worship and your praise. And if God is with you, who can be against you? Who can rise up against you? Oh, lift up your voice. I want to hear your voice. Gezetelia Zakata, Yama Malosa, Rabba Balia Scandalia Zaya, Rabba Beluas Yantalia Zaya, E Palua Zaya Kata, E Mapondeliaza, Rabba Balia Zaya, in the name of the Lord Jesus, Rabba Baluas Yasaya. The Bible declares that seven times a day I praise you. Psalm 119, verse 164. The Bible declares seven times a day I praise you because of your righteous judgment. Ah, seven times. Seven times a day. David always lifted up praises. He lifted up worship seven times in a day. Ah, Maloboli Asaya. Wherever you are, I want you to be aggressive. Thank God as if I have given you some serious prayer point, maybe dealing with some subjects. Thanksgiving must be taken serious. Pray aggressively. Thank God aggressively. In the name of Jesus, you have bread because he gave you bread. You can walk. You can go up and down because he gave you the strength. Use that energy as a Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Oh, seven times, seven times. David said, the Bible says seven times in a day David praises God and worships God. No one of the Bible says is the man after my own heart. Lift up your voice. Thank God for every organ of your body. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, Father, we bless you. We honor you, O Lord. We honor you, O Lord. The Bible declares in Psalm 3, verse 5. He says, I lay down and slept. I awoke for the Lord sustained me. I repeat the scripture. They say, I lay down and slept. I awoke for the Lord sustained me. So I woke up because God sustained me. Thank God that He sustained you. Lift up your voice and say, Father, I give you all the glory. I went to bed. I woke up because you sustained me. I, it, it wasn't 
my alarm clock that woke me up. Ah, it wasn't that ah, so so and so called me and I woke up. It wasn't because my phone rang and I woke up. I woke up because God woke me up. I woke up because Elohim woke me up. Lift up your voice. Thank God for the life that you have. Hey, Sagada Blasiata. Even as you thank God right now, every assignment of death. Hey, Bada Blasia. As you thank God for waking you up, I declare over your life that you will not sleep the sleep of death in the name of Jesus. As you thank God for waking you up, I pray for you that you will not sleep the sleep of death. The adversary will not attack your life, will not attack you in your sleep in the name of the Lord Jesus. As you lift up your voice and engage the word of the Lord. I lay down and slept. I awoke for the Lord sustained me. The Lord sustained me. It wasn't Satan that woke me up. It wasn't the powers of darkness that woke me up. It was Elohim that woke me up from the bed. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I acknowledge the power of God. I acknowledge the hand of the Lord. I acknowledge the blood of the covenant. I acknowledge the weapons of our welfare. I acknowledge the grace of God. I acknowledge the message of God. I acknowledge all that God has done in my life and that of my family. Oh, lift up your voice. Thank God for the life of your children. Every day and every night, ah, the movement of your children, it is the Lord that preserves them. Your children go to school and they come back. It is the grace of the Lord. It is the message of God. You go to work and you come back safely. It is the grace and the message of God. It's not everybody who goes to work and come back. Lift up your voice. Bless the name of the Lord. The Lord is a good God. He's a good God. You have you have millions of reasons to give thanks unto him. Oh, Masagada Braziasa. Rebebe Luesiasa Nalamayande. Lake the reason, the reason, the reason for the peace in your home is God. The reason for the peace in your home is God. Hey, Sagada Braziasaya, Lekono Brosia Sagadiasa. The job you have is God, is God. Your Mongoliasa. People are more qualified than you. They don't even have job. By the grace of God, you have a job. Give thanks unto the Lord. I said the job you have, the job you have the job you have it is God hey Sagada Brazia if you have good health it is God lift up your voice bless the name of the Lord you have you have it is mandatory it is mandatory you thank God it is mandatory you thank God and when Jesus came to the tomb of Lazarus the Bible declares he gave thanks he gave thanks he gave thanks he gave thanks and that which was dead for Four days that which was dead four days came back to life because he gave thanks in the name of Jesus. As we give thanks to Elohim, as we praise his holy name, let that which is dead in your life let it come back to life in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and declare that in the name of Jesus, as we give thanks, as we give thanks, that which is dead in your life let it come back to life, let it come back to life, 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 come back to life. As we lift up our praise unto Elohim, let that which is dead in our lives. Come back to life. Come back to life. Come back to life. Lift up your voice and bless the name of the Lord. Hey, Sagada Brazia Saya. You have you can provide food on your table because God gave you. Oh, give thanks, give thanks, give thanks. Mazaka Taluasiata is worthy of our praise, it's worthy of our worship, it's worthy of our thanksgiving in the name of the Lord Jesus. Rapapalia Saya, Rapapalia Saya, Ayamale so Niriasa, Yendele Melia, Rapapalia Sa, Rapapalia. Oh, lift up your voice 
bless the name of the Lord. The Lord is a good God. Hey, Zabandia, Lebelosiata, Rapapaliaza, in the name of Jesus. Let God arise and let our enemies be scattered. Say, let God arise. Let God arise and let our enemies be scattered. Let God arise. Let God arise and let our enemies be scattered in the name of Jesus. Say, in the name of Jesus. Say, I declare. I declare enemies, enemies surrounding my life, enemies surrounding my workplace, enemies surrounding my destiny. In the name of Jesus, I declare, let the Lord expose them, expose them, expose them, expose them, expose them. Let the Lord expose them. Let the Lord expose them. Let the Lord expose them. Say, I engage the hand of the Lord over my life. I declare by the hand of the Lord I am secure when I go out. I am secure when I come in. In the name of Jesus. Any legality, technicality, the adversary is using against my life to undermine the protection of the Lord over my life. Let's say legalities, technicalities, be squashed. Be squashed. Say I override every legality technicality the adversary is using to undermine the protection of the Lord over my life and my loved ones in the name of Jesus let such be destroyed in the name of Jesus see I am good the fire of the Holy Ghost it is written I will be unto you a wall of fire and my glory in the midst of thee I engage I engage the fire of the Holy Ghost around my life around my household around my family they are going out they are coming from now to the end of the year whatever the enemy has scheme has planned has planned has devised has against my life, my loved ones, in the name of Jesus, I engage the covenant of divine protection over my household. I declare I will not die premature. I will not lose any loved one from now to the end of the year and beyond in the name of Jesus. See, I engage the protection of the Lord. I am protected when I go out. I am protected when I come in. Lift up your voice and pray this prayer. Oh, lift up your voice. You are protected when you go out. You are secure when you come in. The devil is a liar. Masagande yasuataya. Oh, zabaluasa. Rebebele yasayata. The safety of the law. The safety of the law. The safety of the law. You will not be a victim of circumstances. Hey, masagada braziasa. Mazondoli asagayada. Mazotoli askaya. Regebele asaya. Let the Lord shield you. Let the Lord shield you. Let the Lord shield you. Hey, Zabalu Asa. Let the Lord shield you. Let the Lord protect you. In the name of Jesus. Say the name of Jesus. Say, I declare. Let the traps, let the snares, the adversary are set for me and my household. I declare, divine escape, divine escape, divine escape, divine escape, divine escape from every trap and snare in the name of Jesus. See, I escape, I escape, I escape, I escape, I escape every trap, every snare in the name of Jesus. Say, any fall. Of divination, enchantment, spells, necromancy, invoke against me and my loved ones. Let it by fire, 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 let it by fire. Say, I will not be a victim of circumstances in the name of Jesus. Say, my loved ones, my family, none of them will be victim of circumstances in the name of Jesus. Anybody who is targeted, anyone that is marked, that is marked for destruction from now to the end of the year, I declare, I declare by the blood of the covenant, let such a one be delivered. Say, I command the unconditional release of anyone that is earmarked to die in the name of Jesus. Say, I terminate every appointment of death from now to the end of the year in the name of Jesus. 
Now, anyone that is sick right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, the Bible declares that it says, I will restore, I will restore. I will restore unto you good health. I will restore, I will, and I will heal all your wounds. In the name of Jesus, whatever sickness that is prevailing over your body, I curse it. I curse it. I curse it. Say, be a curse. Be a curse. In the sickness, in any part of my organs, in the name of Jesus, it is written, whatsoever my heavenly father has still planted, shall be uprooted. I declare, in the sickness, the enemy has planted in your red blood cells, your white blood cells, your bones, your marrows, your tissues, your organs, by the power of the word of the Lord, I speak into your organs right now, and I command, let that infirmity, let that sickness be uprooted, be uprooted. I lay the ass of the word of the Lord to the root. I root it out. I root it out. I root it out. Be rooted out. Rooted out. Rooted out. Rooted out. Be rooted out. I command your healing. I command your healing. On that sick bed, I command you are healed. I command you are healed. 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 Let the hand of the Lord be upon you right now. May you come out of that bed of affliction. In the name of Jesus. That is not where you are supposed to be. That hospital right now, I command. Let the angel of the Lord visit you right now at the hospital. You are coming out. You are coming out. I engage the services of God's angels right now over your life. And I declare, let the angels right now set you free. Let the angel pull you out. Pull you out from that hospital. Pull you out from that sick bed. In the name of the Lord Jesus, by the apostolic oil, uh, upon our father, the Archbishop, uh, and the mantles of the fathers, I declare in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost and the blood of Jesus, I declare, come out from that sick bed. Come out from that infirmity. Come out from that pain. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, you are set free. 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 In the name of Jesus. I want you to share this broadcast because someone will be blessed. Someone will be transformed. Someone will be imparted. In the name of Jesus. From now to the end of the year, you will see the goodness of the Lord. I command that the Lord will direct your path. The Bible says the steps of the righteous are ordered by the Lord. Let the Lord direct your path. From now to the end of the year and beyond, I command divine direction. Let the Lord direct you. Let the Lord lead you. Let the Lord guide you. In the name of Jesus, you will not miss your steps. 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 Miss your steps. Let the Holy Ghost direct you. As many as are led by the Spirit of the Lord, they are the sons of God. I pray that the Holy Ghost will lead you. The Holy Ghost will guide you in all your ways. You will not miss it. 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 Will not miss it. Will not miss it. May you hear the voice of the Lord. And may you respond to divine guidance, divine direction in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray for you that your testimony is secure. I secure your testimony. The Bible says that as cold water is to a testy soul, so is good news from a far country. May the Lord give you good news. I prophesy good news. May you hear good news, not bad news. You will not hear bad news, but you hear good news. I prophesy good news. I want you to make that declare. Say, in the name of Jesus, I declare my ears will hear good news. My ears will hear good news from now to the end of the year and beyond. I prophesy my ears will hear good news in the name of Jesus. Say, I override any projection to bring about bad news. Let such a projection be a curse. Be a curse. Be a curse. Say, I block bad news. I command good news in the name of Jesus. May you hear good news concerning the contract and the deals you are believing God for. May you hear good news. May you hear good news. Nobody will use machinations, demonic projections to, to outwit you. I declare that you hear good news. Whatever must come to you will come to you by the authority. In the name of Jesus, you will not be circumvented. You will not be circumvented. Say, say I declare 
I will not be circumvented. I will not be denied. Whatever God has ordained for me, even this month, and the months ahead, I will receive it. It will come into my hands in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, I command a sudden good break. A sudden good break in my life, my family, my household. In the name of Jesus. Let the Lord bless the admission for making this possible. I am here because he gave me this opportunity. And I'm grateful. Papa, thank you. God bless you. God increase you. God empower you. God strengthen you. Let your household be covered. Let your household be preserved. The enemy will not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. Let the angels of the law that encamp run about them that fear God. We summon the angels of the law to undergird and preserve you and your entire household in the name of Jesus. You are blessed. You are covered at all times in the name of Jesus. Now God bless you and God keep you. Let the Lord make his face to shine upon you. And let the, Lord, let the Lord be gracious unto you. Let the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. Let it guide them and rule your heart in Christ Jesus. Amen. God bless you. In Psalm 23, the Bible said, Thou restored my soul. I want to believe God. And then he said, I will restore health unto you. Say health. Yeah. I'm believing God for a clean medical report for everybody. Yeah. That as you are aging, as you are aging, your strength will be renewed that as you are aging, instead of becoming old, you become younger. Yeah. Oh, I'm believing, I'm believing. That is, listen, that is the prayer I'm praying for myself. Oh. And I'm extending the same blessing to you. Yeah. That as, as you are aging, instead of looking old, you'll be looking young. Yeah. And when you wake up in the morning, no aches, no pain. You wake up in the morning and you are like a young lion ready to devour say yes you wake up and you are like a young eagle ready to soar say yes so i'm believing god also for financial restorations any money that belongs to you that has been blocked let it be unblocked any money that belongs to you that has been tied up let it be loose. Any money that belongs to you that has been buried, we resurrect it. We open up your graves. We command monies to come out of the grave. We send angels to go to the north, the east, the south, the west to release your breakthrough. And today I declare that the battle over your finances is won. The battle over your health is over. The battle over your family is over. The battle over your children is over. Hear me. I'm making prophetic declaration because, hear me. Because I don't say if I'm a prophet, I don't need to say prophet. It's children and people who don't know who they are. Who say, if I'm a prophet, I'm making prophetic declaration. So give me some high energy response. From today, the battle over your future is over. The battle over your finances is over. The battle over your children is over. The battle over your health is over. The battle over your inheritance is over. 
your battle over that land is over. The battle over that building is over. Those of you who have started building, but you haven't finished, give me a wave, friend. Okay, lift it up. I declare on authority before heaven and earth that anyone here that has begun to build, you will finish it in the name of Jesus. I declare that you will not build for another to inherit it. You will not plan for another to harvest. But whatever project you have begun, you will finish it in the name of Jesus. You will have the resources needed in the name of Jesus. And when you finish it, you will live in it healthy. You will live in your own house in good health. With a sound mind. With love and power in your heart. If you believe it, say amen. Any embargo and restriction that the enemy has placed on your finances and has placed on your investment, your business, your bank account, and your life, home and abroad, today by divine authority, I declare that the embargo and the sanction is permanently lifted. Lifted, lifted, lifted. I declare furthermore, any door the enemy has closed concerning your finances, concerning your breakthrough, concerning your spirituality, your relationship with God, concerning your investments, your going out and your coming in. Today I command by the keys of David, let closed doors be open. Closed doors open, 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 open. Let closed doors be open. Home and abroad, closed doors open. Closed doors open. Now, now, I command every open door remain open. Remain open. I declare you will access your open door. You will enter your open door. Nothing will cut you short before your time. You will not die prematurely. You will not die in your sleep. You will not die in your dreams. You will not die when you go out. You will not die when you go out. You will live long. You will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus. Lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it up. I command multiplicity of breakthroughs. Oh, I said multiplicity of breakthroughs in every area of life. In the name of Jesus. Now, any door open will remain open in the name of Jesus. Any chain, any embargo, any sanction lifted will not be put on you again. In the name of Jesus, any tongue, any mouth, any voice that is lying about you, we silence it in the name of Jesus. We silence it in the name of Jesus. We silence it in the name of Jesus. Any misrepresentation, any misrepresentation, any spirit of character assassination that is destroying your character, destroying your image, misrepresenting you, falsely accusing you. Today, in the name of Jesus, we shut that mouth. We shut that mouth. We dismiss that voice. Let it be discredited in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, anything that is threatening your life, Anything that is threatening your existence and threatening your future, whatever it is, today, from the throne room of the Father, let it be terminated. 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 In the name of Jesus, terminated. Above all, whatever you have lost, wasted years, Wasted moment, anything you have lost, 
a wife, a husband, children, loved ones, money, land, property, glory, honor, exaltation, promotion, whatever it is that you have lost, I decree restoration. I decree restoration. I command restoration. And between now and the next hundred year, hundred days, as we pray, let the years of your people be prolonged. Give your people hundred years and over. And within the next hundred days, let there be outstanding breakthroughs, mind-blowing testimonies, and let double blessing be credited to the account. Double victory credited to the account. And let, let double failure and defeat be credited to the account of our enemies. In the name of Jesus. Lift it up. Lift up your hands wherever you are. Heavenly Father. Behold the documents. Behold the businesses. Behold the works of the hands of your children. Behold. Behold. Behold the sweat and the labor of your children. Passports. Business certificates. Lands and investments and businesses that are suffering heavily, Father. Before the throne I demand as your servant that you shall remember every one of these, your children, for good. And I command today in the name above every other name, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, let the floodgates of heaven open. Let the floodgates of heaven open over your people, over their businesses, over their passports, over their travels, over their investments, over their documents, over the works of their heart. Let the floodgates of heaven open. In the name of Jesus, I command the floodgates of heaven to open. Put your hands together as the floodgates of heaven open. Let it open. I can't hear you. Let the floodgates of heaven open. Thank you, Lord. Within these hundred days, let the floodgates of heaven open. Let the light of God shine. Let your light shine. Now, now, hear me. Hear me. Hear me. I was driving the other day and there was a lot of traffic. Then my driver said, there is, a, there is a shortcut before the flower pot. So you branch right, then you go to the end, then you branch left, and you are on airport hills. In less than five minutes, we were there, and people were still in the traffic, and the traffic was huge, and they were standing in. And I sat in the car and I said, this is the secret of our life. When you don't know the way, you are stuck. But when you know the way, others will be stuck and you'll be ahead of them. From today, I declare, you will find a way. I said you will find a way. You will no more be stuck in the name of Jesus. You will not be stuck financially. You will not be stuck in the journey of life. You will not be disadvantaged anymore. In the name of Jesus, lift up your hands. Any way that others are not seen, you will see it in the name of Jesus. I declare you will see it in the name of Jesus. And anything others cannot make sense of, you will make sense of it. You will make sense of it. Now I command the light of God to shine on you. Let the light of God shine on you and make you outstanding. Make you unique. Distinguish you from others. Be above only. Be the head and not the tail. In the name of Jesus, be first and not last. You will no more be stuck in life. You will no more be disadvantaged. You will be above only. Above only. Hear me. You know what I'm doing? I'm doing something. By the pronouncement I'm making, I'm overriding and overturning negative curses over your life. Any 
anything negative over your life is abolish. Abolish. Put your hands down and say abolish, abolish, abolish. Now, hear me, hear me, expect a change. Now, anything that was crooked in your life before you came to this prayer meeting, I declare it's made straight. Every crooked part in your life is made straight. Every mountain and hill is made plain. Every valley is exalted. Say yes. Say yes. Any complication in your life is resolved in the name of Jesus. Any unresolved issue is resolved in the name of Jesus. Within the next hundred days, you will have upper hand in life hand in everything. Upper hand in legal suit, legal cases, financial matters, health issue, medical issue, relationship, marital issue. You will have the upper hand. I prophesy the upper hand. I declare you will have the upper hand. Upper hand in everything. And those, those who laughed at you, those who mock you, those who despise you, look down upon you. I prophesy by the hand of the Lord that they will stand in awe of you. They will see and they will stand in awe. You are becoming wonderful. God is about to blow your mind. I declare the story of your life has changed from today. Your story is changed from today. The Lord shall prepare you a table in the presence of your enemies. Say yes. Now, lastly, 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 just trust me. I know what I'm doing. I'm pushing you in the spirit. I'm telling you. Ohiniba. I'm pushing you in the name of Jesus. You are a child of the king. I'm pushing you. Lift it up. Lift it up. Psalm 126. The Bible said, he said, when the Lord turned again our captivity, we were like them that dream. And he said, Laughter, there was laughter in our mouth. I declare unto you, in these hundred days, God will put laughter in your mouth. You will laugh. You know what laugh means? Hear me. The other day I was there and I sensed like I should laugh. But, but, but the circumstances around me wasn't a laughter circumstances. Things, some things were bothering me. And I said, how can you laugh when all these things are happening? And the Lord said, laugh. So, so I started in the flesh. I couldn't laugh in the spirit. Do you see what I'm saying? Because I would lie. By the spirit, I was not happy. So I didn't know how to laugh. So I just started, ha! Ha, ha, ha! Ha, ha! Ha, 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 ha! Then suddenly I started laughing. You are going to laugh. You are about to laugh. In the name of Jesus, say yes. Now, hear me. Anyone that laughed at you, you are about to laugh at them. God is turning the tables in your favor. The tables are turning in your favor. Within this hundred days. Trust me. I know what I'm telling you. God will turn the table in your favor. I'm telling you. Somebody said, how do you know? Because 
I'm a living witness. I'm a living witness. I'm telling you. People have despised me, looked down upon me, mocked at me, laughed at me, written me off, and it was just a matter of time. And God turned it. God turned it. Say yes. Say yes. Hear me. The Bible said in Job 42 10, He said, And the Lord turned the captivity of Job and gave him twice as much as he had. Say double, 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 double. Hear me. Within these hundred days, I guarantee you that God will turn your captivity. And uh, hear me. Hear me. If you are nobody, in the eyes of people, you are about to become somebody. Hear me. If you are nothing, eh, you are about to become something. God will change your status in life. He will do it so men who are arrogant and proud will humble themselves. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Thank you. I welcome you once again to 100 days of prayer. As we observe these days, we declare that the Lord Almighty will continue to shower his mercy and help us to find grace. In this moment, I want to challenge you wherever you are, call your friends and invite someone to pray together with you. We want to thank God for the life of his eminence, the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams, for this platform and the opportunity for us to stand together, to lift up prayer, strong prayer, uh, for, for the nations and our communities and our families. The Lord Almighty is at work wherever you are. And we pray that you will keep your testimonies coming and other requests forward them. We shall continue to lift them up. Hallelujah. We are in the year of open doors. Open doors. And the doors are open. I believe that we are accessing all the opportunities in the door. And today as we pray, we want to believe God to enforce the word of God concerning one of our mandates is to see people healed, to see people free, is to see people delivered. I mean, that is one of our mandates as children of God. And so as we stand together in prayer today, uh, whether it's you or your friends or any family, we want to declare that someone will receive their healing, that someone will be free today, that someone will be broken loose from diseases and sicknesses, whatever it is. That is an arrow, evil arrow that has been shot to the area of your health. Today, that arrow must reverse. Say amen. That wicked arrow directed at your health, that you are tracing a challenge in your health, that you see a friend suffering and facing challenge in their health, you don't know what to do. As we lift up prayer today, in this year of open door, let someone receive their healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Let someone be delivered in Jesus Christ's name. As we pray today, we are declaring that today, whatever sickness, whatever diagnosis uh, that anyone has received concerning any part of their body, today let God answer us and let God free that person. Let God free you from that sickness in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Why not you lift up your voice and begin to thank God today in the name of Jesus Christ. Prophetically begin to thank God for an answer prayer already uh, for your life and for that friend, for that family member uh, who are there sick, buried in. Some are in the hospital. Whatever it is in the name of Jesus. Father, we give thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. We praise you, the God, because you are out there about to perform miracles. We thank you, the God Almighty, that your hand is stretched already. Thank you, the God, that your word has gone forth. Your word has gone forth and it shall not return the same in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Matthew chapter 10, verse 8, it reads out the are mandate. He said, heal the sick. Mandate Kosiah. Heal the sick. He said, clean the lepers. Clean the lepers. Raise the dead. Cast out devil. Freely ye have received. Freely give. Ah, oh my God. And so, friends, as we stand together today, we are declaring, let someone be healed. That is our first prayer today. In the name of Jesus, say, I declare by divine authority, as I lift up my voice and pray today, I declare the freedom, I declare the healing of my spirit, soul, and body. Say, so I declare the healing of my family. I declare the healing of my friends. Mention that friend's name. That right now as I pray, let there be healing right now. Healing of cancer. Healing of diabetes. Healing of any kind of disease that has bound the people. We declare them healed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice. Father, in the name of Jesus. Christ. We command every sickness bound right now. Every disease attack on the people of God. Uh, let that attack be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. We command right now. Let that disease be arrested. Let that symptoms cease right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Any bone disease, any organ sickness, uh, we decree right now. Let that be a replacement of organs that are disorder. In the name of Jesus Christ, those who are sick mentally, receive your healing. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth. Begin to mention those names and lift them before the altar. We decree now in the name of Jesus Christ, whatever it is that is wrong in your body, whatever the doctor has said and declared, we defy that report. And we declare now in the name of Jesus Christ, healing come to the bones. Healing come to the body in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them be free. Let them be free. Let them be free. Let them be free. Let that man walk. Let the bones be quickened. Let the body be quickened again in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare, let those cancer cells die in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Let the pressure in the body be normalized right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to pray now. Begin to pray. Mention that man's name in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare, let the pressure be normalized, be normalized, be normalized right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God, I see a knee strengthening now. I rise up and begin to move that feet right now. I see a knee I've been healed in the name of Jesus Christ. We command him, we command him, we command him, we command him. We deploy according to this divine man to us. He said, heal the sick. Heal the sick. Heal the sick by divine authority. We decree every sick. We decree every sickness. Heal. Every power of disease broken in this new year of open door. Nobody lives with sickness. Nobody moves with sickness. We declare that confession of disease is over today. It's over. It's over. It's over. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let it break over your life. Let it break over your body. Let it break over your spirit. Let it break over your soul. Let it break over your mind. In the name of Jesus Christ, the mind that I see, be free. 
be free now. The mind that thou have bound, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. That same things that will not let you go. Oh my God, there are people. Ah, they check everything. They realize that medically they are well, but they feel in themselves something is wrong. I command that demon out of your body now. In the name of Jesus Christ, lay hold on your back. Lay hold on your body. I command that demon now. Free, free, free. Let it go in the name of Jesus Christ. Let that woman be free. Let that child be free. Let that man be free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God, that lake in POP. I decree from today. The bones are healing. The bones, the bones, the bones are here in the name of Jesus Christ right now oh God we command it by divine authority as we sent for the word the word of the Lord he sent them he said heal the sick heal the sick in the name of Jesus Christ in the thing that have defied uh, medical reason anything that have defied medicine anything that have defied Oh my God, treatment. Today, we command it now by divine authority. Father God Almighty, let it be here. Mental diseases. We declare kidney diseases. We declare be free. We inject them with the body, the blood of Jesus Christ. Let them be free right now. We command every disease free. Oh my God, we pray for our friends. We pray for our family. We pray for our children. We pray for our leaders. We pray for the nation. We pray right now. We direct the power of God. We direct the spirit of God right now in the name of Jesus. In this new year, let every man and woman work about their duty, work about their assignment, work about their way freely in the name of Jesus. Right now, oh God, we decree love. Any darkness that has been short against them in the form of a sickness. Any weapon directed against your health. Any weapon directed at the kushia. Let that weapon not prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Let that evil divine be of none effect from now. Evil divine be of none effect right now in the name of Jesus Christ. That evil device be of none effect by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, oh my God, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh, as we lift up our voice again, in this same scripture, he said, oh God, raise the dead, raise the dead, that anything that is dead around you, see it come alive. Oh my God, I said, see it come alive. In the book of John eleven twenty five, 25, Jesus said, I am the life. I am the life of the world. I am the life. Oh my God, I am the resurrection and the life. Oh, anyone who believeth in me shall not die, but have life. Today, we are commanding life into dead things. We are commanding life into dead businesses. We are commanding life into dead bodies. There are people lying down that they are not moving. They look like dead. Bodies are dead. But we are commanding life. Say in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus is a resurrection and a life. Therefore, I send the word. I activate the word of God in my family, in my community, in my country right now. Things that should live and they are dead. I command life into them now. In the name of Jesus. Say my family receive life. My country receive life. My community receive life. My children receive life. My leaders receive life. Let them receive life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to bind deadness and command life right now. Command life. Command life. In the name of Jesus Christ. We command life. We command the life of God in the name of Jesus. We decree the resurrection now. 
a resurrection, a resurrection, a resurrection, a resurrection in that body, in that place, right now in the name of Jesus. Let life be transferred. This moment we speak life. In this new year, we speak life. Life. We command deadness to cease. Let deadness to cease in the name of Jesus. Deadness to cease. Oh my God, deadness to cease. Bodies that are dead come alive in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are around anybody who is lying down, oh lifeless, that's low her. This moment, the anointing is there now. Let life come into the body. Let life come into the business. Let life come into the business. I see men and women lifting up even their checkbook. Let life come into their car. Let life come into their company. They are lifting up signs of their company. Life come into it in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Like the book of Isaiah. Ah, chapter 60 verse 1 he said arise and shine today with the name of Jesus Christ we speak lie we break deadness we bind the spirit of death we command death to go in the name of Jesus Christ we command death to lose hold of the thing that should be alive we command death to lose hold of the things that should be alive in the name of Jesus Christ let life come into the lie lie somebody say lie say I command life, I command life. Resurrection in the name of Jesus. Things resurrect again. Let things begin to shine. The way they should shine. Let things come alive. Oh, because they are made alive in Christ. Everything is made alive in Christ. It's made alive in Christ. That is why the Bible says, Anyone that believed in him, oh, will not die, but have a life, everlasting life. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, in Christ Jesus Christ, in Christ Jesus, Everything come alive today. In Christ Jesus, everything come alive. Everything come alive. Anything that death has laid hold of today, we seize them. We command them to back off. Let life be transferred. The life from Christ be transferred in the name of Jesus Christ. Life from Christ be transferred right now in the name of Jesus. Life be transferred now. Oh, life be transferred. Let life be transferred in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, life be transferred. Say, in the name of Jesus, by my divine mandate and divine authority, I command a resurrection of the dead. According to the word of God, in the book of Matthew 10, verse 8, he said, raise the dead, 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 we raise the dead in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God, if you are around anybody, oh, just turn the phone, put the phone at their ears, and they will hear Alive, let them receive life into their body now. Oh, put the phone on their ears, let them receive life. Life we transfer, come alive. We raise the dead today in the name of Jesus Christ. We raise the dead, we raise the dead in the name of Jesus Christ. The businesses that have stopped working, they have stopped working. We speak life now in the name of Jesus into the work of your hand. They look like dead. Nobody is buying. Nothing is selling. I decree now in the name of Jesus. Light back to the company. Light back to the ministry. Light back to the church. Light back to the church. Light back to that ministry. Light back, no Lord, into the family. Life in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God. In the name of Jesus Christ. That is a family. You always hear bad news of death, death, death. Oh my God, you are listening now. You are afraid it's coming, but I decree in the name of Jesus Christ. Mention your family name and declare from today, according to the word of the Lord, I speak life into my family. Let the death stop. Let the deadness stop. Let the deadness break hold, break hold, break hold, break hold. We speak life right now in the name of Jesus. 
we command life to shoot up right now in the name of Jesus Christ. The people that are marked for death, we command their life now. Oh, the chain of death is broken. The chain of death is broken. The chain of death is broken. The chain of death is broken by divine authority. By the life and the resurrection power in Christ, let deadness break and life come in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. That is this new year. People will move around freely. In the name of Jesus, say, I declare, nothing will restrict my movement in this new year. Say, anything that has restricted my movement all this while, I decree in this new year, let the restriction be broken, broken of my mind, broken of my ideas, broken of my vision, broken of my uh, broken of my body. So I decree in the name of Jesus, let there be a free flow and access in the name of Jesus Christ. Command it now, command it now, command it now. You will move like never before. You will reach places. You will go. You will reach place here in the Paduki Sombaya. You will reach place here. You will lay over. Oh my God of your good things in the name of Jesus Christ. I see barriers broken. Barriers, barriers. And hindrances of God are lifted. They are lifted. They are lifted. Like how Samson lifted the gate of the Philistines at Bakata Bahaya. The gates are lifted. A free movement. A free flow of your life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, begin to declare now anything that has ever restricted your movement. Anything that has ever hindered your life, let there be a free flow from today. The hindrances and barriers are removed right now by divine authority. In the name of Jesus Christ, we speak right now. The restrictions are broken. They 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 are broken. broken. Right now, in the name of Jesus, receive life. Oh my God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Adikuru Messiah. Ah, Nambahaya, the fear of movement, the fear of taking a step ah, is lifted off you in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that is fear that have engulfed you in this year, command that fear to break. Command that fear to lose hold. Command that fear to break in the name of Jesus. Command that fear to break. We decree that demon of fear. Break over the soul. Break over that body. Break over that family. Break over that child. Break over that family, break over the community in the name of Jesus. Let the fear be broken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the fear be broken wherever you are. Oh, say in the name of Jesus, my fears are broken, my fears are over. Ah, the enemy's weapon of fear is broken over my life, is broken over my family, is broken over the church, is broken over the home, is broken, is broken. Right now, in the name of Jesus, the fear is broken, is broken. Right now, it's broken over you. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh my God, I hear. What you fear cannot come upon you. I said it will not come upon you. What you fear will not come upon you. I decree in the name of Jesus. What you are afraid of, we decree. Oh, let it lack the ability to cram over you. Oh my God, let that fear lack the ability to overpower you. Let the fear break over you. Let the fear break in the name of Jesus. You are free in the name of Jesus. Of that which you fear in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whoever that said, uh, who never said anything to you and you are afraid today we decree evil words are broken over your life any fear words that you are operating under today today let the words of fear and danger and death be broken over you be broken over that home be broken say let it be broken say any words of fear any words of death in the ways of failure.
failure over my life, over my family, over the church be broken over us right now. Clap your curse and begin to pray. Let it break. Let it lack the ability. Let it lack the ability. Ah, oh my God, to manifest again. Who never spoken? Let the words of fear be broken over you and your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God, we change the atmosphere where you are. In Matakahaya, we change the atmosphere where you are. We direct the word of the Lord to you now as we sent it for. He said, I am the resurrection and life. Anyone that believed in me, uh, though you were there, but you will live again and decree. Let that word be over your atmosphere. Change the atmosphere. Live again. 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 And we cease negative words of death, of negative happening, negative occurrences, wicked over your family. We seize those words. We command a fresh word over your life that arise and shine for thy light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Live again, Magadusia. Live again and not die. Live again and not die in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, live again and not die. Oh, Makuzea Bakataya. In the name of Jesus Christ. The chains in your hands are broken. The chains on your legs are broken. In the thing that they have hung around your waist, oh, that is controlling your movement and controlling your life is broken from today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Is broken over your life. Oh my God, lift up your hand and say, Dear Lord, I believe in your power uh, to raise the dead and to heal the sick. Say, so Today, as I pray, I receive a miraculous healing. I receive a miraculous healing into every area of my life, my body. I receive a miraculous healing right now to my finances, to my home, to my marital home. Oh my God, to every area of my life. I receive a miraculous healing in the name of Jesus. Begin to bless God. You are free and you are delivered. Oh, thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you. We bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Until I meet you again, stay blessed. Amen. Praise the Lord, everyone. Tonight, we just want to thank God wherever you are. It could be morning where you are in Australia. It could be morning somewhere. It could be afternoon somewhere in North South America, somewhere in Asia. I just want you to know if you are in Europe, UK, um, right here in Africa somewhere, wherever you are on the face of the earth, it is a season of blessing season of prayer and we want to give God thanks uh, for Bible tells us that we are to thank God we are to bless his name at all times at all times we are to praise him and this time we want to praise him through prayer and what prayer does and we want to thank God uh, for uh, the very fruitful life of my father his eminence the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams uh, who has put uh, these hundred days together, and he's raising a million strong intercessors worldwide. And I invite you on his behalf to join us tonight or this afternoon, wherever you are, um, just to pray. It's a season of great solutions, a season of results, 
and you don't want to be left out during these amazing times of answered prayer. Therefore, one more time, on behalf of our Papa, we welcome you tonight. Copy the link. Do so. Invite your friend. Um, share the link. Um, have watch parties. Uh, share it on your WhatsApp page, uh, on your Facebook page. In fact, share it on all your social handles. Uh, call your friends. Let us pray uh, because prayer works. God answers prayer. When we pray according to his will, he grants our petitions. And we are in this prophetic season. Again, I'm telling you, call somebody. Share with somebody. Just share to somebody as well. Uh, just make sure that they are joining us to pray. It's a prophetic prayer season full of fruits of solutions and answered prayers. Shall we pray this evening as we understand what the Lord has told us uh, by his word in Luke chapter 11, verse 52. And he says, woe to you lawyers, for you have taken away the key of knowledge. You did not enter in yourselves and those who were entering in you hindered uh, because many are being hindered our Father, His Eminence, has declared a season of open doors, a season of open door. And no one shall be left standing behind any door as you join in prayer. Any good door you must enter, you will enter by prayer in the name of Jesus. And so again, we want to look at what Luke 11.52 is telling us. There are those who are in positions, advantaged positions, who are in authority, who have, as it were, what it takes to allow you into your divine appointment, into your destiny and your breakthrough. But by virtue of who they are, when they stand, their role, uh, 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 they just like to hold you back. But we are gathering tonight we are gathering wherever you are, whatever time it is. You're going to enter. You're going to enter. Whichever key they have that gives them an advantage against your access, deploying it to restrict you, tonight we are entering in. We are entering in in Jesus' name. We are entering in. You want to pray. Anyone in authority. Anyone that stands in a place of influence, anyone using their resources, their contacts as an advantage or a weapon to restrict you from entering, entering the place and behind the door God has prepared for you for this season, wherever you are, you want to bind that personality with or without body in the name of Jesus and dispossess them of the keys. Lift up prayer with me tonight we're praying in the name of the Lord Jesus. Any man, any woman, any person standing, O oh God, in my doorway, anyone that has the key, O oh God, that which should cause me to access the open door that Jesus has opened for us in this season, let that person be arrested. Let that person be located in the name of the Lord Jesus. We declare that person dispossessed of that key, of that weapon, of that tool and the instrument with which they are standing in our way. In the name of the Lord Jesus, anyone blocking or stopping you from entering, wherever you are, you want to pray tonight. You want to release the name of Jesus against any such personality. Let them give way. Let them give way in the name of Jesus. Let them give way. They will not hold you back. They will not in any form or shape restrict you. They will not block you. Let the hindrance break. Let it be removed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Child of God, I want you to know, Mark chapter 3 verse 27 says, No one can enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first binds him. Child of God, we want to tonight, anyone that is standing in a place of, op of opposition, yet seems to have 
room and a right because of their authority against you. As we pray tonight, we declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, let that strong man, let that person, whoever they may be, let them be bound in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name that is above every name, we bind anyone with our goods in their possession, with our children in their possession, with our, our future in their possession. Whoever by that which they have as a role they play in our workplaces, in our families, in our communities, in government, those of influence that believe they can use their position, they can use their influence to block you from reaching your goal, from taking that divinely appointed contract in the name of the Lord Jesus, from reaching that life, especially in the family who has said they will not permit you to win that soul to Jesus. As we pray today, we bind that strong man in the name of the Lord Jesus. We dispossess them of their weapons, whatever is the source of their power, whatever it is that fuels them, to give them that, uh, as it were, their, their strength, and to give them that which makes them think that they cannot allow anyone and they will not. Today we strip them. We strip them of their influence. We strip them of their wealth. We strip them of their contact. In fact, we remove the basis upon which they stand in the place they stand. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we declare that open door, open door season is here. An open door season is here for God's children in the name of Jesus, for men and women of God in the name of Jesus, for men appointed in the season to take us to our next level in the name of Jesus. We declare every blockage blocked, every blockage stopped, every blockage removed in the name of Jesus. Child of God, pray. It's time to pray. This is the time for us to pray. The strong man is bound by your prayer tonight. Pray in the name of Jesus. In the name that is above every name. You want to pray. We want to declare that we are praying because we know, as our father, the archbishop, has declared, it is open door season. And you cannot miss your portion. Bible continues to say, no one can enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods, except he first binds him, and then he can plunder his house. We want to declare by prayer that any strong man from your father's house, your, father, your mother's house, any strong man in the environment in which you live, any strong man, strong man that believes that by virtue of who they are and the power they wield, they can stop you from entering that season of breakthrough, that season of your overflow, Today, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we declare they are plundered. They are plundered. Plunder them. That is take away from them. Remove from them. Anything that is yours with your name on it, that the strong man has in their prison house, has in their vault. We break their vaults in the name of the Lord Jesus. And we declare the vaults open. We declare the prison doors open. We declare in the name of Jesus, chains fall. We declare in Jesus' name, whatever has been tied, we untie. In the name of Jesus, we lose our portion. In the name of Jesus, we plunder, we plunder. I want you to pray. There is an open door. You want to pray. The strong man cannot continue to hold back that which is yours. We break in the name of Jesus. Hold back spirits. Kado, shakado. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice. Speak to the, a strong man. Let him just stand down now in the name of Jesus. Let there be a standing down. And let that which is yours be taken. Plunder because the door is open. Plunder in the name of Jesus. Plunder. Plunder in the name of Jesus. Because they have been dispossessed of the key. They have been dispossessed of the key. Child of God, let me tell you why we need to dispossess the strong man of the key. You know? The key doesn't even belong to the strong man. He has a fake key, but we have the master key. In the name of Jesus, we hold the master key. And I want you to understand that once upon a time, uh, uh, the Lord himself had to replace a man who was not fit for the responsibility of, of, of rulership, over, over taking care of what belonged to God. And the Bible says that he, he replaced him with another 
talking about Shebna uh, being replaced by Eliakim. And Bible tells us in Isaiah 22, 22, that for him to rule and to be effective in his new responsibility, he had to deploy the key of David. Child of God, today we want to pray. Anyone that has your door locked, remember the door is opened as declared by our father in this season. Therefore, by the keys of David, even as was given to Eliakim, today as we pray, we declare that anything that is in our care that we have not been able to take care of, anything we ought to do that we have not been effective in, today as we pray, we deploy the key of David in the name of the Lord Jesus. And we declare that any hindrance, any opposition, any restriction, any restraint is broken by prayer tonight in the name of Jesus. Child of God, pray wherever you are. I want you to keep praying because as you pray, you are causing anything that stands in your way to give way now, to give way now. Restrictions fall, restrictions break. In the name of Jesus, Kadosh by Kadandi Antoha, I want you to know that the strong man is giving up as you are praying tonight in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Yes, I'm saying tonight, but you may be uh, just somewhere morning is just uh, uh, dawned on you. But I want you to know it's a new day. It's a new day as you pray with uh, uh, his eminence, the archbishop, as you pray with the team uh, that he has appointed. I want you to know that ah, your sun will shine again because it's a new day, because the hindrance is being removed as you pray with us. Uh, within this hundred days of prayer, I just want you to know that your breaks through will be handed to you in the name of Jesus Christ. At this point, I just want you to continue. If you've just joined us, copy the link, uh, invite friends, tell them we are on. His eminence and his team are on praying for you and your family, your friends, your neighbors. Share it on your WhatsApp page. Share it on your Facebook page. I just want you to call others to join you, have a watch party, and enjoy the time of intercessions. Ah, hallelujah. It is open door time. Hallelujah. It is open door time. And you have to get ready to enter by prayer tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You want to continue to pray that any personality who by their influence has positioned and placed your family as it were in, in, in a cage, some form of limitation, you know, uh, they will not be allowed to move to their next step, to manifest the glory of God that God has in the family, the gift and the talents that are in the family. Today, as we pray within this hundred days of prayer, we declare their shackles are breaking off in the name of the Lord Jesus. Their shackles are tearing apart. Chains are falling because the door is open. Look here, when the door is open and you still have chains around you, you cannot, you cannot advance. Advance. Uh, it, it, it's just as though you were still in that situation. Lazarus will tell you that. Jesus had said to Lazarus, come forth. He had said so to him. Uh, 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 and, and some way, somehow, he came, but he still had uh, grave clothes, you know, bound around uh, his face. And he had, he had, he had you know, uh, 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 clothes uh, just holding his feet apart and arms. And he had to, he, Jesus had to say to them, you've got to lose him and let him go. Tonight, by your prayer, in the name of the Lord Jesus, the prison doors of infirmity are opened. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the prison doors that will bring healing to any kind of infirmity is opened in the name of Jesus. Any prison door of infirmity is shut, is shut by the same key, the same key of David. I declare in the name of Jesus that the door of infirmity is shut, but we release everyone, every member of your family from children to 
older people that have been held back by any form of sickness in the DNA today, in the bloodline, any form of infirmity, high blood pressure, uh, low blood pressure, any one of those infirmities that we will not name, but the Lord knows by name. We declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, let the spirits behind them loose our people in the name of Jesus. Let the chains fall in the name of Jesus. And we command them to come out because the door the door is open. The door to life is open. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we declare any keys that have been deployed in any form or shape to cause you to experience delay in accessing your property, accessing your home, accessing your education, accessing your, your divine helpers. Today, any key that has been deployed to hold you back, to delay you. Child of God, you may not know what this means, but I once wanted to enter into my house. I had an appointment, very important appointment, but I was locked out. I needed someone to come who had the master key to open. I was delayed, but thank God I had the opportunity to just go into that meeting. Today, I just want to declare to you any personality and any occasion the enemy may be using to cause a delay, to cause you to be restricted, limited, hindered, not allowed access to where you need to be right now, to who you've got to meet right now, whether from your family, your office, from government, wherever it's coming from, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we break the back of delay. We break delay, the spirit of delay. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we break delay. We declare no more delay. Revelation chapter 10, verse five to six tells us that the angel stood, he lifted up his hands to heaven and he concluded his matter by saying there's no longer a delay. And therefore I declare as we pray, no more delay. No more delay in the name of the Lord Jesus. By the keys of David, we open that door of access to your finances, to your health, to your ministry, to the souls of that family. In the name of Jesus, they will be one to Christ. No more delay, no more denials. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I want you to know that as we pray tonight, delay is broken. Delay is broken. Delaying your results, your exam results in favor of you. Today we declare delay, you are broken. Delaying your promotion at your workplace. Delaying your package that must come to you. Today we break its back, we release unto you. We command by the open door that you access. You access your open door, your open door. Let speed come upon you, the speed that the Holy Spirit gives access by prayer. Child of God, are you praying? I want you to pray. I want you to pray with me tonight. Pray with me wherever you are, because indeed, that which you need, the key has been given. The key of David has been given to you. And I declare you access, you access. Wherever it is, go into full oppression as one who is responsible as you pray. You know, it is responsible people who pray. Lazy people don't pray. So because you are praying with me, and because you are praying with his eminence, and you are praying because he has declared open door to you, I decree as you join me one more time in prayer, in the name of the Lord Jesus, that the key opens that door. You access that door. You access it with joy. You access it with renewed strength. You access it with laughter. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let that need be met. Let that need be met. As you pray in the name of Jesus, let that prayer be answered. Let that petition be granted. In the name of Jesus, petition on behalf of your spouse. Petition on behalf of your children. In the name of the Lord Jesus, petition. Petition on behalf of your friend and neighbor, your community and nation. Pe petition on behalf of your church and the leadership of the church. Let the petition be granted because the door is open and you have access. The key of David has been deployed in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. I just want you to take your position. 
I want you to take your position. I want you to know that because we are praying within this hundred days of prayer, as declared by his eminence, you cannot be stagnant in your ministry. You cannot, as it were, be held back in that which has to do with your promotion at your workplace, with, 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 with that which you must do, as that big idea that God gave you. Bible says he, give, he gives us uh, power to make wealth, and it includes ideas, but yet you have been restricted where the money must come from, where that grant must come from, where that credit facility must come from. You find yourself restricted, but today, as we pray, within these 100 days of prayer, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we decree and declare, open door, open door, open door, open door, by the key of David, open door, open door, open door. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we declare the door of our promotion at our workplace, approval at our workplace. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the door is open. I can do sabbataya. The door is open. That person that must ensure that you move to your next step up the ladder. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus, that person will not hinder you. That person holds your hand. In the name of Jesus and grants you access. By the power that is in Jesus' name, by the power of the word of God, I decree and declare you have taken your position you have, you have disrupted the one that stood to oppose you. The strong man uh, has been dispossessed and, and, and you have entered into the open door and you have collected that which God has appointed for you for this season. A joy, laughter, hells in the name of Jesus. The souls that you have been praying for, they have come to you. I come to declare to you, your door is open and it shall never ever be shut in the name of of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. At this point, I just want to take a minute of your time. If you have prayed, I want you to continue. We are on uh, 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 all the time for the next 100 days. Join us, join us, share the link, invite others. And I just want you to know that it's going to be so well with you. Day by day, you will see solutions. You have your testimonies. I have no doubt about it. When doors are open, the right doors are open. At the same time, I want you to know that the wrong doors have been shut. And so you can only look forward to excellent things in this life. The Lord bless you for joining his eminence and his team uh, in this 100 days um, of prayer. And uh, I just want to thank you for availing yourself. God bless you. We'll see you again. Now, in Psalm 23, the Bible said, Thou restored my soul. I want to believe God. And then he said, I will restore health unto you. Say health. Yes. I'm believing God for a clean medical report for everybody. Yes. That as you are aging, as you are aging, your strength will be renewed. That as you are aging, instead of becoming old, you become younger. Yeah. Oh, I'm believing, I'm believing. That is, listen, that is the prayer I'm praying for myself. Oh. And I'm extending the same blessing to you. Yeah. That as, as you are aging, instead of looking old, you'll be looking young. Yeah. And when you wake up in the morning, no aches, no pain. You wake up in the morning and you are like a young lion. Ready to devour. Say yes. 
you wake up and you are like a young eagle ready to soar. Say yes. So I'm believing God also for financial restorations. Any money that belongs to you that has been blocked, let it be unblocked. Any money that belongs to you that has been tied up, let it be loose. Any money that belongs to you that has been buried, we resurrect it. We open up your graves. We command monies to come out of the grave. We send angels to go to the north, the east, the south, the west, to release your breakthrough. And today I declare that the battle over your finances is won. The battle over your health is over. The battle over your family is over. The battle over your children is over. Hear me. I'm making prophetic declaration because, hear me, because I don't say if I'm a prophet, I don't need to say prophet. It's children and people who don't know who they are. Who say, if I'm a prophet, I'm making prophetic declaration. So give me some high energy response. From today, the battle over your future is over. The battle over your finances is over. The battle over your children is over. The battle over your health is over. The battle over your inheritance is over. Your battle over that land is over. The battle over that building is over. Those of you who have started building, but you haven't finished, give me a wave, everyone. Okay. Lift it up. I declare on authority before heaven and earth that anyone here that has begun to build, you will finish it in the name of Jesus. I declare that you will not build for another to inherit it. You will not plan for another to harvest. But whatever project you have begun, you will finish it in the name of Jesus. You will have the resources needed in the name of Jesus. And when you finish it, you will live in it healthy. You will live in your own house in good health. With a sound mind. With love and power in your heart. If you believe it, say amen. Any embargo and restriction that the enemy has placed on your finances and has placed on your investment your business, your bank account and your life home and abroad today by divine authority I declare that the embargo and the sanction is permanently lifted 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 I declare furthermore any door the enemy has closed concerning your finances concerning your breakthrough Concerning your spirituality, your relationship with God, concerning your investments, you're going out and you're coming in. Today I command, by the keys of David, let closed doors be open. Closed doors, open, 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 open. Let closed doors be open. Home and abroad, closed doors, open. Closed doors, open. Now, now, I command, Every open door remain open. Remain open. I declare you will access your open door. You will enter your open door. Nothing will cut you short before your time. You will not die prematurely. You will not die in your sleep. You will not die in your dreams. You will not die when you go out. You will not die when you go out. You will live long. You will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus, lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it up. I command multiplicity of breakthroughs. Oh, I said multiplicity of breakthroughs in every area of life. 
in the name of Jesus. Now, any door open will remain open in the name of Jesus. Any chain, any embargo, any sanction lifted will not be put on you again. In the name of Jesus, any tongue, any mouth, any voice that is lying about you, we silence it in the name of Jesus. We silence it in the name of Jesus. We silence it in the name of Jesus. Any misrepresentation, any misrepresentation, any spirit of character assassination that is destroying your character, destroying your image, misrepresenting you, falsely accusing you, today in the name of Jesus, we shut that mouth. We shut that mouth. We dismiss that voice. Let it be discredited in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, anything that is threatening your life, anything that is threatening your existence and threatening your future, whatever it is, today, from the throne room of the Father, let it be terminated. 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 In the name of Jesus, terminated. Above all, whatever you have lost, wasted years, wasted moments, anything you have lost, a wife, a husband, children, loved ones, money, land, property, glory, honor, exaltation, promotion, whatever it is that you have lost, I decree restoration. I decree restoration. I command restoration. And between now and the next hundred, year, hundred days, as we pray, let the years of your people be prolonged. Give your people hundred years and over. And within the next hundred days, let there be outstanding breakthroughs, mind-blowing testimonies, and let double blessing be credited to the account. Double victory credited to the account. And let, let double failure and defeat be credited to the account of our enemies. In the name of Jesus. Lift it up. Lift up your hands wherever you are. Heavenly Father, behold the documents. Behold the businesses. Behold the works of the hands of your children. Behold, behold, behold the sweat and the labor of your children. Passports, business certificates, lands and investments and businesses that are suffering Heavenly Father, before the throne I demand as your servant that you shall remember every one of these your children for good. And I command today in the name above every other name, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, let the floodgates of heaven open. Let the floodgates of heaven open over your people, over their businesses, over their passports, over their travels, over their investments, over their documents, over the works of your heart. Let the floodgates of heaven open. In the name of Jesus, I command the floodgates of heaven to open. Put your hands together as the floodgates of heaven open. Let it open. I can't hear you. Let the floodgates of heaven open. Thank you, Lord. Within these hundred days, let the floodgates of heaven open. Let the light of God shine. Let your light shine. Now, now hear me. Hear me. Hear me. I was driving the other day and there was a lot of traffic. Then my driver said, there is a, there is a shortcut before the flower pot. So you branch right, then you go to the end, then you branch left, and you are on airport hills. In less than five minutes, we were there, and people were still in the traffic, and the traffic was huge, and they were standing in. 
And I sat in the car and I said, this is the secret of our life. When you don't know the way, you are stuck. But when you know the way, others will be stuck and you'll be ahead of them. From today, I declare, you will find a way. I said you will find a way. You will no more be stuck in the name of Jesus. You will not be stuck financially. You will not be stuck in the journey of life. You will not be disadvantaged anymore. In the name of Jesus, lift up your hands. Any way that others are not seen, you will see it in the name of Jesus. I declare you will see it in the name of Jesus. And anything others cannot make sense of, you will make sense of it. You will make sense of it. Now I command the light of God to shine on you. Let the light of God shine on you and make you outstanding. Make you unique. Distinguish you from others. Be above only. Be the head and not the tail. In the name of Jesus. Be first and not last. You will no more be stuck in life. You will no more be disadvantaged. You will be above only. Above only. Hear me. You know what I'm doing? I'm doing something. By the pronouncement I'm making, I'm overriding and overturning <laughs> negative cases over your life. Anything negative over your life is abolished. Abolish. Put your hands and say, abolish, abolish, abolish. Now, hear me, hear me, expect a change. Now, anything that was crooked in your life before you came to this prayer meeting, I declare it's made straight. Every crooked part in your life is made straight. Every mountain and hill is made plain. Every valley is exalted. Say yes. Say yes. Any complication in your life is resolved in the name of Jesus. Any unresolved issue is resolved in the name of Jesus. Within the next hundred days, you will have upper hand in life hand in everything. Upper hand in legal suit, legal cases, financial matters, health issue, medical issue, relationship, marital issue. You will have the upper hand. I prophesy the upper hand. I declare you will have the upper hand. Upper hand in everything. And those, those who laughed at you, those who mocked you, those who despise you, look down upon you. I prophesy by the hand of the Lord that they will stand in awe of you. They will see and they will stand in awe. You are becoming wonderful. God is about to blow your mind. I declare the story of your life has changed from today. Your story is changed from today. The Lord shall prepare you a table in the presence of your enemies. Say yes. Now, lastly, 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 just trust me. I know what I'm doing. I'm pushing you in the spirit. I'm telling you. Oh, I'm pushing you in the name of Jesus. You are a child of the king. I'm pushing you. Lift it up. Lift it up. Psalm 126. 
The Bible says, he said, when the Lord turned again our captivity, we were like them that dream. And he said, laughter, there was laughter in our mouth. I declare unto you, in these hundred days, God will put laughter in your mouth. You will laugh. You know what laugh means? Hear me. The other day I was there and I sensed like I should laugh. But, but, but the circumstances around me wasn't a laughter circumstances. Things, some things were bothering me. And I said, how can you laugh when all these things are happening? And the Lord said, laugh. So, so I started in the flesh. I couldn't laugh in the spirit. Do you see what I'm saying? Because I would lie. By the spirit, I was not happy. So I didn't know how to laugh. So I just started, ha! Ha, ha, ha! Ha, ha! Ha, 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 ha! Then suddenly I started laughing. You are going to laugh. You are about to laugh. In the name of Jesus, say yes. Now, hear me. Anyone that laughed at you, you are about to laugh at them. God is turning the tables in your favor. The tables are turning in your favor. Within these hundred days, trust me, I know what I'm telling you. God will turn the table in your favor. I'm telling you. Somebody said, how do you know? Because I'm a living witness. I'm a living witness. I'm telling you. People have despised me, looked down upon me, mocked at me, laughed at me, written me off, and it was just a matter of time. And God turned it. God turned it. Say yes. Say yes. Hear me. The Bible said in Job 42, 10, he said, and the Lord turned the captivity of Job and gave him twice as much as he had. Say double, 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 double. <laughs> Hear me. Within these hundred days, I guarantee you that God will turn your captivity. And hear me. Hear me. If you are nobody, in the eyes of people, you are about to become somebody. Hear me. If you are nothing, eh, you are about to become something. God will change your status in life. Yeah. He will do it so men who are arrogant and proud will humble themselves. Onyaminunu. Onyaminunu. Oya nwa nwa ejuma. 